All right, so this is going to be a little bit different from other Ocarina of Time randomizers that I've done. This time I'm going to I'm trying out the Triforce Hunt style randomizer where instead of trying to beat the game, instead there are I believe 20 pieces of the Triforce scattered around the entire world and once you find all 20 of them, you instantly win the seed, which I think that sounds fun and I'm not sure if this will be easier or harder than a regular run, so we're going to find out together, all right? Anyhow, let's start things out. Oh, man, default color tunic is yellow. I do not like that. I don't like that one bit. Ooh, I like the UI, though. That's pretty. Yellow is not exactly what you'd call my favorite color, but I guess it's fine. Also, this is my first time streaming on the new updated OBS, so... If there are problems, please let me know, and I will try to get on that as fast as I can. This is seeming... Okay, there we go. I'm like, this seems kind of like vanilla OOT. <laughs> Alright, there's a piece of the Triforce. Yep, we have one out of 20. So there are 20 scattered all throughout the world, and I believe I checked the setting that it doesn't add extras. So there... normally, if you just do the default settings, there are like... 25 or 30 pieces, and you only need uh, 20 of them? No, I made it so that I need to find all 20, and there are only 20. I might regret doing that, but you know what? <laughs> I'm just that kind of guy. I want to try stuff out. Oh, boy. <laughs> Navi sounds like a horse. I still don't know how to pronounce her name. As a kid, I always thought it was Navi, but it's probably supposed to be like Navi, like Navigator. Wow! Vanilla Kokiri Sword. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure I checked that uh, to randomize the Kokiri Sword, but maybe not? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that it was an amazing coincidence that I just happened to get the Kokiri Sword. I'll take it. <laughs> And also, for if people want to know, the three locations that I have turned off so that there is guaranteed to be nothing there are the two horseback archeries as well as the ten big pose. I debated leaving ten big pose on and just making it so I only need to catch one, but then I'm like, nah. Those are the side quests that I really can't stand doing. Alright, Shop Sanity doesn't have anything interesting there. I'm heading off to Deku Tree. Oh, that's right, because I have the sword, I can actually get Deku Sticks early. Which means I actually... I can go pretty far in the dungeon. Actually, no, I can't. Without Slingshot, I can't go really anywhere in the basement. That's okay. Also, I, t I checked the setting that you start with all of the maps and compasses, so you won't be finding those in the dungeon. And that, that ups the amount of junk locations. On top of which, I also changed it so that there's going to be extra ice traps, because I like pain. How's it going, Mike Breezy? Oh, hey, let's not spoil what to do for, uh, for Paper Mario Pro Mode. I want to figure that stuff out myself. But I'm glad you're here. Are you having cake? <laughs> and yes, for the- oh shoot, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> I soft-locked myself, yes, uh... <laughs> for, those, for those of you who, um, want to know, yeah, I've added some new channel points, so people can now use their channel points to place sound effects during my streams. <laughs> Glad to know that they're still working! Yeah, I forgot. Don't go into that room without the shield, otherwise you softlock yourself. My bad. It's been a while, folks. Alright. Time to do a little bit of... I'm not sure if this technically counts as sequence breaking or not. But you can actually sneak past these guys. Oop.
If they're not facing you while you move, then they won't charge at you. It's a nice little way of getting up there without needing the slingshot or the boomerang. <laughs> yes, Navi, I know how to open doors. Alright, let's see what's in these two chests. Again, nice thing about starting with the map and the compass is more opportunities for stuff in the dungeons. Sticks. Oh, that's right, I forgot to mark. I have sticks, I have nuts. Both very important items. Actually, Deku nuts aren't that important. They're very useful in a lot of situations, but you don't actually need them for any checks. Man. A lot of these chests are pretty boring. What up? No, I did not randomize Gold Sculptula tokens, because... I'd ideally like to finish this uh, seed in a single stream. I don't really like breaking them up all that much. Unless I have to, of course. I do have to work tomorrow, but I start a half hour later, so... Hey! Alright, this is the last thing we can check in here, and then we're gonna have to leave. <laughs> and then, you need to leave! Five dollars, great. Alright, well, Tiku Tree had a fat lot of nothing. Oh, I also never checked. What do I start with? I start with... Oh, the ruby. Okay. That's fine. We hopefully won't even need to enter Ganon's castle, but there could be Triforce pieces in Ganon's castle. For all we know, there could be a Triforce piece in the final chest in the game. I hope not. But it's possible. Man, we really lucked out getting the Kokiri Sword this early. I'm so used to playing for the game without ever getting it that... <laughs> it's, it's a weird feeling. It's like, oh yeah, I don't need sticks to solve all my problems. But I'll probably still end up using sticks for most things anyways, because they're just so much better. They have like triple the range and twice the power for some reason. Actually, no. Actually, yes! <laughs> Yes, we are going to the Lost Woods. Do, 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 do. There are business scrubs for us to buy stuff. And we've got money! One of the few reasons, uh, places Deku Nuts actually could be required, I guess. You rip-off artist. I'm finding a fat lot of nothing. Literally, the only thing i found that actually will help me search new places is the Kokiri Sword. Like, Serenade of Water is nice to have, but it's one of the few songs that doesn't actually lead to any specific checks that you need it for. It's just a teleporter. I also don't even have the ocarina needed to play it. There are two more business scrubs over here. And then we're leaving the forest. Mysterious item for 10 rupees. Okay, that guy actually... That guy actually helped me out. He gave me more money than I asked for. And you gave me a piece of... <laughs> oh, yes! Winner! <laughs> I love how one of the pieces of heart in the game it says winner when you get it. It's fantastic. I'm surprised there's not, like, a... 
a randomizer speedrunning category where it's like, the whole point is to find the winner heart piece. That would actually be pretty fun. Alright, sorry, I was gonna give me $20. Okay. We've got a ton of money and nothing to spend it on. We're going to the market. We're gonna check out the two stores at the market, probably play the archery game, and see what Malon has in store for us. I'm probably not check making the checks in the optimal way. I like just kind of exhausting all the checks that are near me to begin with, rather than being like, I'm gonna just ditch the forest immediately and head straight to Kakariko because there's so much stuff there. Man, I don't remember Navi talking to you this much. She's been naying up a storm. First, though, free Skulchula in here. I don't even have to throw a pot at it. Alright. It's bizarre time, Woody. Ice arrows? Boomerang! Only 70 rupees? Heck yes. I always forget... <laughs> I always forget Ocarina of Time ice arrows are terrible, and there's no point in getting them. I'm so used to Majora's Mask Randomizer where ice arrows are really, really good and necessary. <laughs> Oh boy, I can pay 160 rupees for 20 rupees. Thanks, but no thanks. Do I have enough money for the archery game? Hey, Big Lip Man! Alright, I do. Can I beat the archery game? It's been a while since I've practiced. Thank goodness child archery or child slingshot archery is um the exact same every time. There we go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Big Goron, you're giving out a broadsword for for kids hitting hitting slingshot targets? Wow, that can't be safe. But all right, I'll take it. Th <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Malon. <laughs> Malon had the Triforce of Courage with her the whole time. Third Sculptula. All right. I'm happy. We have we have the Boomerang this early, and we got Big Goron Sword this early. We got both of the swords really early. I actually... I, I can dig that. <laughs> Again, it's not anything, like, spectacular like the hookshot or the bow, but Boomerang is really good. Like, most things that need the slingshot you can get with the Boomerang, the exception, the main exception being the, the target that you have to shoot in the Lost Woods, as well as all those eyeball switches. But Boomerang can hit stuff from far away, and it can, it can be very useful. And also, if we need to brave Jabu Jabu's belly, now we can. All right, off to Kakariko. Right off the bat, I made it so you only need one cuckoo for this. Ooh, Lens of Truth. Useless about the magic meter, but that could be useful. Although I am at the point where the only thing I really need it for is the Haunted Wasteland, and then the Treasure Shop minigame. No, I want to I wanna pick up your chicken. <laughs> She's like, wait, you gave it back to me, but then you immediately took it. <laughs> yep, them's the brakes, Andrew, sorry.
I gotta see what's in store for me in this grotto. <laughs> it's a stick. Alright. Well, since we have the boomerang, we can try to get whatever item is up there in the windmill. If it's nothing good, though, I'm not going to bother, because it is a fairly precise boomerang shot. It's 50 bucks. You know what? I'll take it. I'm at the point of the game where I don't have a whole lot of money, and I actually still have to check out a lot of the shops. So for all I know, I could need $50 quite soon. Plus, they're all the business scrubs. I like, I like doing scrub sanity, mainly because it actually means that money is a lot more useful. There we go. Never mind! <laughs> what a doofus! Oh man. You know what, folks? I've decided. We're making the play. We're going to become an adult. Actually, no, we're not. Not yet. Not yet. Because I do like checking Gerudo Valley as a child, and then we can check the grottos around that area as well. But thus far, because we don't have the bombs, there's not a whole lot of places we can actually go. So I actually think that Gerudo Valley is, like, the play to make. We can, uh, glide with the Cuckoo to check the crate, as well as the Waterfall Heart piece. Both of those are rather annoying to check as an adult. <laughs> They're just like, oh, okay, man, peace out. Sink back into the ground. Look, stout children, I mean you no harm. I know I have a sword and I'm decked out with equipment, but I'm not I'm not trying to kill you. <laughs> I know you're already dead, but you you know what I mean. Uh you can you can just have a chill night to yourself. If you guys want to have a party, you're welcome to. You got the whole high rule field, just you know, try not to kill me. <laughs> but we want to invite you to the party. How nice, but I I am arty, not party. Oh, uh, whoops. That was weird. I was holding left and he was backflipping. Oh, well. I guess I might have, if I see a sculpture, I might as well grab it. Because the gate in Kakariko Village is closed as a child, I have that setting turned on, so I can't even go to Death Mountain yet as a child. Uh-oh. <sighs> yep, not, not bothering with that. This means we can one-cycle Gerudo Valley and don't have to backtrack. Nice! Alright, if we can get the angle right, we can actually see what's up there. It's a psalm! Heck yeah, we're getting that. That's either Bolero of Fire or Zelda's Lullaby. Both are nice to have, even if I don't have an ocarina. I also kind of need cash, because there are... A, a trio of business scrubs in Lake Hylia that I want to visit. It's the Bolero of Fire. Alright. I like that. It 
Sonic, thanks for the raid! I appreciate it. Welcome, everybody! Hope you guys had a great time watching Sonic. He was playing Chrono Trigger for the first time. And that's a game I have not uh, played myself. How, how are you enjoying it, Sonic? Welcome, all ye raiders. <laughs> all ye who enter here. Love the Sonic emotes. Very well done. Yeah, so for those of you guys just joining, we are playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer, and we're doing the special Triforce hunt, where the pieces of the Triforce are scattered around the land, and we have to find all 20 of them, instead of actually completing the regular campaign of the game. Chrono Trigger is interesting, that's good. I mean, that game is very highly acclaimed, so I'm sure it's going to be a good one. I know a lot of people consider that, like, THE definitive RPG. Okay, I need, I need more money, so I'm going to do the classic Zelda, I'm going to enter a room and then exit it, so that way the grass will instantly regrow, which it does that in real life too, by the way. And then more people will drop their money in there. Because I need to get up to 30 rupees to buy stuff from these business scrubs. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, teaching us that you can make a living mowing the grass since, <laughs> like, 1993. Or whatever year Link to the Past came out in. Because I think that was the first Zelda game that you could actually get money just by cutting the grass. <laughs> the grass needs more landmines. Unlike in Link to the Past, there are no landmines in this in this grass. Ooh. So glad I have the boomerang this early. Or maybe I shouldn't be, because I really don't like collecting sculptulas, but... I might need them. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Five tokens. <laughs> Don't worry, there are plenty of pots in this game. You're just not really going to find them lying out in the field. Hello, Hooty Hoot the Owl. Oh, hello, Link. <laughs> well, do you want to fly on my wings to the castle? No, no, no. I want you to fly away from here so that I don't accidentally touch you and get warped to the castle. I instead want to um, desecrate this grave. Colorful Artie does not condone grave robbing in real life, but... In games, it's completely acceptable. Alright, ten rupees for you! You gave me five rupees, con artist. You are giving me... Ooh, a piece to the Triforce! Free down, 17 to go. Give me $10, or here's $10. Oh my gosh! That guy is very generous. I gave him $10, he gave me 200 Unfortunately, my wallet is so small, I can't even hold it all. Because that's how this game works. Going back to the castle with the owl is intriguing, but alas, there are a couple of more checks I need to look for. Actually, really just the one. Actually, you know what? The one check along the way I can easily get as an adult. Alright, Kepora, Gebora. Take me back to the ball game. Alright, folks. I can't believe it, but we've... Well, no, we haven't exhausted everything we can do as a child. There's a couple things in the graveyard we technically could have done, but... That's okay. I feel like... I feel like Adult Link is the way to go. Plus, I have a ton of money, so... I can just immediately start buying stuff in Kakariko. Hey, Nintendo Addict, how's it, how's it going? I put Triforce pieces, yes, yeah, so there are pieces of the Triforce in the item pool now, I think it replaces some of the junk locations, and the goal of this randomizer seed is I need to find 20 pieces of the Triforce, and with the settings I have, there are no extra pieces, there are only 20 pieces across the whole world, I need to find all of them. 
I'm not sure if that's the way to do it, or if I am setting myself up for colossal failure, but <laughs> we're going to see where it goes. It's very interesting thus far, although, wow, there was not a whole lot I could, have do I could do as a child. No slingshot, no bomb bag. No bomb bag in particular is rough when you're a kid, but I did find all free swords really fast, so... No shortage of weaponry. All right... Goddess of Sand, so Spirit Temple has the Light Medallion. Forest Temple has the Forest Medallion. Uh, Deku Tree has the Fire Medallion. That's interesting. Oh boy, Water Temple is vanilla. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Oh man. Actually, no, it doesn't even matter, because, again, I probably will not need the medallions to clear the seed. Unless unless Ganondorf is hiding a piece of the Triforce where he is. No, no, it's literally just once you get all of the pieces of the Triforce, you win. At least, I think that's how that works. I've never actually completed one of these seeds. This is my first time playing it, but that's how I understand that it works. All right, Link. We're going to Kakariko, and we're gonna check out what's for sh what's for sale at the stores. Do, 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 do. I just realized I have no hookshot, no boat, again, and also no bomb bag. But at least I can explore Death Mountain as an adult. There just wasn't enough stuff to explore when you were a child. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, you get enough pieces and you instantly win the game on the spot, but you think you can still beat Ganon to win as well. Okay, so there are two clear conditions. Oh, that actually, that's really cool if you were doing like a race. You'd be like, do I focus on trying to beat Ganon or do I focus on trying to find everything else? Alright... I'll probably be buying that Deku shield, but if the other shop has something better, I just gotta check to make sure. Oh look, they also have a Deku shield, but theirs is way more expensive. <laughs> if you want the Deku shield, there's only one left. That's okay, they've got plenty at the, the bazaar, and they're cheaper. <laughs> La -dee -da -dee -da. All right. Oh, and now we get to pull off one of my favorite really easy glitches. Uh, so first off, hey Andrew, I will totally take care of whatever your cuckoo is. It is five dollars. I will promise that I won't spend it. Yeah. So this right here. So if you get on this pile of wood, yeah, you can just clip right up here. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually not going to pick that up just yet. <laughs> not yet. I'll, I'll pick that up at a later time. If I've, I have set it to 20 pieces of no spares, yeah, beating Ganon might be faster. Well, I'll, I'll try to do both. Whichever one is faster, because I do want to complete this seed ideally tonight and not have to go to bed at a very late time. Ideally, with a little time left over to shower, because I don't want to be smelly. Even though I work from home and nobody is around. Man, I have found so many... Oh, that's right. When you turn Scrub Sanity on, a ton of five rupees get added to the pool. Also, <laughs> I've turned on extra ice traps. So, I'm, I was kind of expecting to find more ice traps than this. I've only found one. Alright, Dampe. I can't do the warp song abuse, but hopefully I won't need to. Oh, you jerkwad. Dokkan, he, he, he is throwing these in the worst places possible. That's actually really bad. Okay, nope, we're, we're not getting both prizes in one go. No way, no how. 
He knows how to counter my strat. He knows exactly where to throw the flames so that I'll hit them. Yeah. Unless we can go up here real fast, we are not getting up there before 60 seconds. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna be just short. I think if we were literally one Oh no, we do get both prizes. Okay, just a recovery heart though. Wow, we literally made it just in time. I can't believe that. Okay, he was guarding a piece of the Triforce. Glad I did that. Alright, where to go next? I think... Honestly? There's not a whole lot... Oh, wait, no. The Dongo's Cavern I can go to. There's a couple free things to get there. Other than that, though, there's actually not a whole lot of places I can check. I guess Zora's River is also open. Never mind. What am I saying? The world is my oyster. I just can't stop, uh, Artie the Goron. Because I have no bombs and no bow. Yeah, let's make the play to Dodongo. Oh man, if I had hover... Oh wait, never mind, we can't even enter Dodongo. Because we don't even have a strength upgrade. Wow! This game, this seed has been kind of stingy. Is there anything we can do in Goron City? I know there's like a single Sculptula we can get, and I think that might be it. Well, I'm not going to get it if I do that. Wow. I wonder if I literally just have to grind up the f first ten Sculptulas to get something like the Bomb Bag. It would not surprise me if that's what the game wanted me to do. Alright, yep. Yeah. Never mind, Goron City and Death Mountain by extension just have nothing for me. I can't even climb higher in Goron City, so... Get out. <laughs> I will! <laughs> I'll reset. <laughs> that was appropriate. <laughs> We All right. Well, if we can't do that, I guess we're going to Zora's River next? <laughs> yeah, you timed that perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I th I'm thinking, yeah, Zora's River is kind of the only other place we can really go to. And I guess explore that one grotto way back in Lake Hylia that or near Lake Hylia that I didn't explore. Actually, yeah, there's like one thing we can get in Lake Hylia. There's the grotto. Oh my gosh, Navi just will not shut up.
Let's see. Oh, oh, doggone it. Why do the hover boots have to be up there? I, I want to use the hover boots to get the hover boots. Of course, that also could very well be a nice trap. But uh, I'm going to want to get up there. Yeah, as soon as I get Bomb Bag, I can come here as Yun Link and nab that sucker. I want to see what's over here. Because that will affect how far I take the chicken as Yun Link. Five dollars. No thanks. Oh yeah, you can you can get up to the hover boots of just the cuckoo. It's actually not that precise once you get the timing down. It's not like bomb hovering precise. I actually did manage to bomb hover a little bit uh, in a practice mode once, but there's no way I can pull it off consistently. And I don't think I really can do anything useful with it. It I can just make I can just make myself look cool. Interesting. The Gerudo member card. The bridge still isn't fixed though, so that's still not amazing. Alright. Wow. Maybe I should have stayed as Child Blink. Man, I've never I've never encountered a seed that's locked me out of so much this this early without giving me something. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna go and check that one grotto that's uh, that I actually can check that's just open. See if there's something there. If not, I'm going back to Yun Link and I'm just gonna see what we can do. There are the two things. Oh, the, there's the entire bomb chew shop that I never checked. That uh, that's a good place to check. I can also do. No, I can't do the treasure shop game. I don't have the magic meter. Hey, Proxima! Welcome, welcome. You haven't missed a whole lot. I found four pieces of the Triforce, but beyond that, I've explored a couple places and I've just been locked out of a lot of areas. <laughs> nice to see you, though. Oh wait, this this is not the place to go. I can't blow that up. Open Grotto is down here. Um, I do not like using save states on this emulator because when I've used them in the past, they have caused my emulator to crash. Which is probably a big problem, considering save states are kind of a big part of emulation, but... Ooh, okay. So I'm actually a quarter of the way to victory. But the question is, those last 15 could be literally anywhere. One of them could be in the Ganon's Castle boss key chest. <laughs> you tried this randomizer, didn't get very far? Yeah, the randomizer can be a bit intimidating at first, for sure. And especially if you didn't find all of the all of the hidden treasure locations in the vanilla game, which most people don't. It can definitely be a bit of a challenge being like, I think I've checked everywhere. Is there just a place I'm not aware of? Chances are, yes, there is. <laughs> Alright, now... I'm pretty sure it's going to be daytime for Child Link. I hope it's night so I can save Richard and check out the bomb chew shop, but if not... We can always we can always wait in Hyrule Castle. Whoosh! Rats. Yeah, it's daytime. All right. Hey. Guess I'm gonna go and kill time until it's nighttime. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So many seeds you end up being like, I really, really need to find this one thing. And then you just can't find it. <laughs> oh, yep. <yeah. laughs> you know, I feel like every time we do co-op Majora's Mask randomizer seeds, that always happens. And it usually lasts for the entire seed. Don't do this in real life, folks. Staring straight at the sun is not a good idea, but it's so pretty to do in video games. 
I love the lens flare effect here. They really put a lot of time and effort into this game. <laughs> oh, you had the problem where, yeah, there's something on the ledge of Dodongo's Cavern. Doggone it! I didn't check on the ledge above Dodongo's Cavern when I was a Dalt Link, and there could have been something there. Yeah, there are two ways of getting that. You can either use Magic Beans, and you can also just get there with a simple backflip. If you go to the place, like the fence, where you normally throw the bomb flower from, a precise backflip will actually let you get up there, no worries. Once you know a lot of the tips, a lot of the tricks of the trade for Ocarina Randomizer, you really don't need Magic Beans for a whole lot. The only two places where you absolutely, like, need... The only, like, one... Honestly, one place, really, that you, like, need Magic Beans for is in the Desert Colossus. Pretty much every single other way, uh, you... There's a workaround for it. Heck, there might be a workaround for the Desert Colossus one. Oh my gosh! Well, that opens up a whole lot of new stuff! Thanks, Mamuyan. <laughs> wow. That I swear that lady always gives out really good prizes. Like, she either gives you out a song or the hook shot or the bomb bag. I think she gave out fire arrows once. Alright, you don't seem to have anything. Nope. Alright, well, folks. I've got bombs now. <laughs> now the world truly is our oyster. That opens up like everything. Just about. <laughs> also, check out Triple Mirror Shield <laughs> for my hash. <laughs> Alright, we're going off to the Lost Woods, then. <laughs> There's a couple of bombable places in here we can take advantage of. And then, ooh, and that's the, this also opens up the shortcut to Goron City. Oh, this is fantastic. This lady's just like, Oh, here, sweetie, thanks for finding my dog. Here, have some explosives. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with that. ba -dunk. I got bombs. <laughs> Thanks, that refilled, like, the one bomb I had used. I appreciate it. Haha! <laughs> Perfectly timed. Alright, 10 rupees, give me something. You gave me bombs. Man, everyone wants to give me explosives now. You rip off! Guess I should be thankful that none of them have frozen me yet. Honestly, though, I kind of, I kind of enjoy encountering ice traps. <laughs> it's, they're always good for a laugh. Might as well take care of this guy. Come on, just attack me already! Yeah, this is something that a lot of new time players do not know about. I didn't know about it for the longest time. The glitchy wall Wolfos Grotto. <laughs> you got an ice trap for getting Anju's cuckoos back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my, my personal favorite ice trap, though, still has to be me saving the old lady in Majora and her freezing me for it. <laughs> oh, it was fantastic. It's also the worst when, like, you can see your... Oh my gosh, it's like the bow. The bow is right there, and then you grab it, and then it's actually like, Psych! It was an ice trap. 
<laughs> she seemed like such a nice lady. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can't always judge a book by its cover, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Off to Goron Village. Or, I'm sorry, Goron City in this game. Whoosh! I do have a Deku Shield, but I'm not going to equip it just on the off chance that I go to Dodongo's Cavern and I don't want it to burn. Because you can't unequip it once it's equipped for some reason. Ooh, also, Goron Shop. Alright, let's see what's in here. Not much. Man, the shops have been kind of disappointing. Other than that one shop that sold the, um... Uh, what did I buy? Oh, the boomerang. The rest of them have just been very disappointing. Alright, here's Hot Rodder Goron. I don't know why we have to wait for him to get into the tunnel specifically before he gives us the reward, but... Whatever. Hey, bro. Thanks for the five dollars. <laughs> you blew me up. Fine, I'll pay you money. Trust me, that doesn't work in real life. Ooh, this also means we can go to the rock maze. Ha da ba da bum bum bum. Why, yes, I do know the most efficient way of getting through this maze. It's almost like I've played this before. Alright, chest number one! Fifty bucks! That's pretty good! Watch this one also give me rupees. Eh, at least it was only a fiver. It's not like here's your two hundred that you can't carry. I now know that the Skulltula will always jump out in this direction, so you have to roll into it on the side, because if you don't, you're going to get bit. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times that guy lunged out at me as I opened the crate, and I got damaged for it. And in some cases, I died for it. Not fun. Chest in here. What's inside? That's a good item. Goron bracelet. Yeah, that's that's going to be a useful one. Oh, whoops. <laughs> My aim was a little bit off. Yeah, if you backflip just at that, that angle, you can get up here. Oh, great. Oh, it's just a recovery heart. But now you know. You do not need the magic beans. I'll blow open the entrance, but I'm not going in there as Child Link. We're going to take a trip up to the crater now. I am actually running a little low on bombs, which is strange given that, like, half of these business scrubs have sold me bombs. Why am I so bad at aiming this? There we go. Darn it. I didn't want to pick that up just yet. So going here without a Hylian shield is supposed to be suicide, but it's not. Just line yourself up, 
And then back walk, and you will outrun all of the falling rocks. <laughs> Boom. I could use the boomerang to f knock these guys down, but I won't. Well, okay, I'll knock this guy down. But he deserves it. Oh, sweet, he didn't see me. He's a limited vision. Alright, we're going up here to find the most stupidly well-hidden business scrub in the whole game. I literally did not know that it existed until I played Randomizer and had to look it up. Uh, wait, before, before we do that... Oh no. Now blow up the rock, I need the checkpoint up here. I can't survive very long. Get down here! Alright. We're safe, no worries. A bloop. Pristin we ungifted! Thank you for the follow! I really appreciate it, and welcome, welcome! Glad you're here. We're just playing some Ocarina of Time randomizer right now. Ooh, there's a song up there. Yeah, so, um, how many people know that. Witchcraft. Oh, yeah! It's a good thing I knew that that guy was there, because he's hoarding one of those Triforce pieces. Alright, I think that's a good spot to reset back to Link's house. <laughs> Bombs? Witchcraft. We have four bombs. Where did they all go? Oh, that's right. I used them all. But it's okay. We actually have a sword, so we can probably find some just hanging out in the grass. Because only in the Zelda universe will people actually drop explosives that they don't light in the grass for people to pick up. Alone with their life savings. <laughs> How's it going? It's going very well for me tonight. Work went very well, I had a pretty simple dinner, and I'm excited to be streaming. I normally have small group Tuesday nights, so I generally don't stream on Tuesdays, but it got moved to Thursday this week, so I figured, hey, I'm in the mood for streaming. I want to play some Ocarina of Time randomizer. I've been meaning to try the Triforce Hunt uh, randomizer for a while now, and it's fun. Of course, <laughs> that's my first impressions of it. If I'm like, where is that blasted final Triforce piece, then uh, <laughs> I might have to tweak the settings in the future. What does Triforce Hunt do? So, there are Triforce pieces scattered all throughout the game. And once I find 20 of them, then I win. That's how it works. And also, I've made the settings so that there are exactly 20 pieces across the entire world. There aren't any extra, so I need to find them all. This is going to make things a little tricky, because I'm, what I'm guessing will happen is that I'm going to get to a point where I'm missing, like, one Triforce piece, and I have no clue where it is, and it could be in, like, any number of places. And I'm going to drive myself crazy. <laughs> I'm already predicting that that's going to happen. That's right. We can win before fighting Ganondorf. Yes. I believe, from what I've heard, beating Ganondorf and Ganon is still a valid way of winning the seed, but this is a way of winning it early. It would be fun if One Piece is behind the archery game or something. <laughs> the adult archery game or the horseback archery game? Because I've made sure that the horseback archery games don't have anything useful. Oh my gosh, we got ourselves a hammer. Alright, well, we don't really need bombs anymore now. <laughs> yeah, that, that often happens when you play randomizer or watch people play randomizer. You're going to be like, what? I didn't know that that existed. 
As a matter of fact, fun, funny story, the person who, or one of the main people, I don't know if it was one person or a bunch of people who made the randomizer, one of the, at least one of the people who made the randomizer literally didn't know that one of Fane existed when he, like, programmed the game. And people will point out, like, why is this chest always the exact same thing? He's like, I literally didn't know that chest even existed in the game. <laughs> it's fu it's funny. Oh, that's right, that's right. Bomb bag, I can get hover boots. Or at least whatever appears to be hover boots. Why do I hear police sirens outside? My condo complex is generally a low-key area. <laughs> no, no, hey, no worries. Trust me. Uh, I've learned a lot about this game ever since I started playing randomizers. Like, before I started playing randomizer, I wasn't using this backwalking at all. I just rolled everywhere. I quite literally rolled with the punches. This is my second to last bomb. Better not waste it, because I'm gonna need one to get into Zora's River. Hey, blue. I also kind of need an ocarina sometime soon. That would be nice. Wow, another Triforce piece. I swear, I, I, I literally, I pretty much guarantee it. I'm going to find at least, like, 15 of them really quickly. And then the last five are going to take me a while, and then the last one is going to take me, like, an eternity. <laughs> eternity. Your girlfriend taught you about the backwalking? Oh, nice. I didn't, it never even occurred to me that backwalking might, A, would be practical, and B, would be faster than walking forwards. Like, that just... It makes no sense, but then again, I guess N64 is kind of famous for that, with, like, Mario's backwards long jump as well. And because you aren't seeing where you're going when you backwalk, it's it can be difficult to tell that you're actually, like, just how fast you're going, but you, you're actually going really fast. Oh, I think, I think this is a perfect opportunity for bomb refills. There's a lot of... There we go. Thank goodness these terrorists dropped these bombs in the bushes and didn't detonate them. Also, these these rocks here have the wonkiest hitboxes in the game. Like, it is impossible to blow them all up with a single bomb. I see. It's really difficult even to blow up three of them with a single bomb. Oh, I, I need to <laughs> keep forgetting to update my gold sculpture account. Oh boy! <laughs> chomp, chomp, chomp! Magic beans! Am I planning on doing this in one si- Oh, that's right. Oh, he just sells you one thing, and the pack of magic beans is just hidden somewhere. Am I planning on doing this all in one stream? That is my... That is my intention. If at all possible, I would like to be able to do this in one stream, which is why I started streaming at 6.30 rather than 8. To hopefully be able to finish this in one go. If I can't, then I can't, but... I don't like breaking up... Uh, I don't like breaking up randomizer seeds into multiple streams if I can help it. Do I have Skull Sanity on as well? <laughs> no. I do not like Skull Sanity. Sorry, chicken. Alright, is this an ice trap? Nope, it's the real deal. Sweet. That's that's nice. I have done Skull Sanity before. It can be fun on occasion, but it generally ju it just opens way too many additional checks. And some of the gold sculptures are a huge pain in the butt to actually check. I also, at one point, I did a uh, multi-world stream with a friend of mine who shall remain nameless, but uh, we did a multi-world stream, which was fun, but also, he thought it would be a great idea to do, for our first multi-world stream, both Skull Sanity and Key Sanity. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I am not doing that again. Yeah, I know. The extra ice traps have kind of been disappointing. I've not found nearly as many ice traps as I would have wanted to. The problem is, like, there's no real... So the levels of ice trap, there's, like, normal, which I think there's only four, three or four in the entire game. The extra ice traps adds a couple extra ones. And then after that, it's, like, manic, where it's, like... <laughs> 
there are where it's like every single junk location is an ice trap. I'm like, I don't want to go that far, but I would like a lot of ice traps. That's currently what you're stream you, you stream key and skull sanity. Hey, whatever works for you. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it. I'm just saying I generally prefer doing certain. I just, I certainly do not enjoy key sanity. Because I feel like that all that really does is pad the game and force you to backtrack to dungeons multiple times. Token sanity, like or skull chill sanity, skull sanity, whatever you want to call it, it can be fun on occasion. I, I definitely see the fun in it. And if you're if you're looking for a kind of like a longer seed, then that can be a really fun thing to do. And I do I do do it on occasion, but my general preferences are no. Like for the same reason, I also do not have cow sanity on this time. Your plan is to work up to everything, including door sanity. I have tried the entrance randomizer for, like, dungeons, grottos, like, literally everything. It was very surreal. It was kind of fun. But also, it was, like, a, it was an added level of challenge just remembering where everything is. And I can see, I'm like, there are some really cool things you could do with the door sanity. Oh, stupid gueys. Uh-oh. Actually, are they gonna kill me? Leave me alone, birds. Like, part of me is like, I would love to, like, custom make a randomizer with, like, all of that shuffled. But also, I know I would never finish it, and nobody would really want to play it. But I have some devious ideas of what you could do with the entrance randomizer. <laughs> If you want a medium amount of ice traps, you may have to rely on a custom JSON file. Yeah, I don't care that much. Oh, hey! <laughs> Malon and Talon were hiding a piece of the Triforce back here all along. I am surprised, by the way, that I have not found a piece of the Triforce that's actually been an ice trap. Again, I don't know how many additional ice traps extra adds. Probably just, like, four more. But... I'm, I feel like I feel like in Triforce Hunt, if there is one thing you would want to disguise an ice trap as, it would be a uh, it would be a Triforce piece. All right, Th thanks for joining in the stream. I, I appreciate it, and it was fun hanging out with you. Hope to see you around in the future, and have a great night. Also, I I might die here. I never thought I'd die in Lon in Lon Lon Ranch of all places, but it actually might it might happen. But it better not happen before I can reach the grotto. Actually, wait. Did I already pass... I oh, Shoot, I passed the grotto. Grotto's over here. No! No! I can't die here. I can't die in Lon Lon Ranch. Of all the places to go. Also, if I'm not careful, like, I literally might get killed by the business scrubs in here. How... How... Hilarious would that be if I died to the business scrubs? If he, if he sells me an ice trap, I will die. Oh, the mirror shield. That's pretty good. Literally, if one of them sells me an ice trap, I die. <laughs> Mobius, thank you so much for the subscription. Oh, oh! Pristinely ungifted, thank you for gifting the subscription to uh, Mobius, call me Bronco. I really appreciate that. That was great. Also, perfect timing on the get out. <laughs> wow. That was... It spawns me back in the grotto? It doesn't spawn me back at Link's house? <laughs> Glad to see people are enjoying the sound alerts. Yeah, the, I know. I, I know. I, apparently, I'm not welcome here in the business scrub grotto. Oh, I actually, I appreciate the bombs. I, I actually truly do. I am very surprised the game was kind enough to just spawn me right back in the grotto. <laughs> All right. I think that's exhausted just about everything we can do as young. No, no, no. 
I guess one other thing we could do, we could do the heart pounding grave digging tour. But I, but we'd have to wait a whole 24 hours for that. Actually, more than that, because then we'd also have to wait for the gate to come down again. Ugh. All right, folks. Should we do the heart pounding grave digging tour, or should we just go back to being a doll link? Vote now. Because regardless of what we do, we have to wait at least a little bit. And I can also turbo through it, although the turbo button really doesn't speed things up all that much. Proximus is adult! That's how I was leaning as well. <laughs> Watch the last Triforce piece be there. Like, I'm like, I can't find the last Triforce piece. That's because Dampe had it. Yes, style children, I know I told you I would leave you alone, but uh, that was then and this is now. <laughs> He's like, oh, 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 darn it. <laughs> Sunlight. Never mind, peace out. Do, 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 do. All right. We're off to grow up. I can't wait till I get an ocarina. I have two warp zones, and both of them would kind of be nice to have. Oh, also, yeah, I have a lot more tools now at Adult Link's disposal. I have the mirror shield, I've got the the hammer, and I've got the hover boots. Hover boots are going to be very nice. Hover boots, if you can get them early on in a randomizer seed, like, they open up so much. There's so much that you don't realize they can do, because you just don't really use them all that much in vanilla game. Understandably, because you don't have them for a whole lot of it. Ooh, I like the color of the mirror shield. I'm, like, I'm getting all these blue shades for my UI, and I, I actually really like it. Blue is one of my favorite colors. In case you couldn't tell by my avatar being blue. But still no hookshot, and still no slingshot or bow, which is interesting. I feel like you normally get at least one of those free early on. Oh man, we're already over an hour into this. It doesn't feel like it, but we are. <laughs> Give me your money. Give it to me. I literally just ran into that guy's house, stole his lunch money, and left. That's the kind of person I am. Alright, we're going back to Kakariko then. Because at the very least, I'm pretty sure with the hover boots, we can uh, see that man on the roof. And Megaton Hammer opens up a lot in the Goron Village and Death Mountain areas. Oh, yeah. Actually, oh! We can literally do, I think, I think we can literally do everything in Jodongo's Cavern now. We don't even need the bow. There we go. I always forget exactly where that grotto is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love how the market, you just no-sell the re-deads. I didn't realize that was a glitch when, um, for a while. I just thought that re-dead, marketplace re-deads worked differently. Five dollars. Fantastic. Oh, also I can get the first uh, Sculptura reward. Might as well do that while I'm here. Hablook. Curse has been broken for you, bro, and you give me five dollars. <laughs> the only way to become very rich is to break the spider's curse. We'll each give you five dollars. <laughs> Not that that isn't exciting, Grandma, but... Alright, I actually don't know if Hover Boots let me get on the roof just yet. 
Actually, maybe they don't. I thought they would, but maybe not. I'm getting kind of annoyed of Horse Navi. It's... <laughs> Like, arguably more so than I ever got annoyed with her in the vanilla game. Can I... With the hover boots, I might be able to, like, side jump off up here. I don't want to lock on to you, though. No, I don't want to talk to this guy. I want to do a double backflip. Okay, hover boots don't work when you backflip. Guess we're not going for Houseman just yet. Oh my gosh, I didn't know Megaton Hammer uh, flipped Tektites like that. Also... <laughs> Man, I love how flexible this game is with what you can do. Oh, I know there's a way to reach the man on the roof without needing literally anything, but I am not skilled enough at the game to do that. Maybe that should be what I work on next. Alright, Dodongo. Hover boots definitely make Dodongo's cavern a lot easier. Like, it's already pretty darn easy for Adult Link, but, like, <laughs> hover boots kind of break this dungeon in half. Going in with the bomb bag and as Adult Link breaks the dungeon in half, and then the hover boots kind of break it in half again. So you really only have to do about 25% of the dungeon. Unless, of course, you're like me and turn Scrub Sanity on, in which case you actually have to do this. Because there are a butt-ton of business scrubs in this dungeon. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say dungeon? I meant fungeon. Because you're going to have fun in this dungeon. Alright, bro. Sell me something good. Ooh, that's something good! I mean, granted, we don't have to go to the Shadow Temple, even if we're going after the vanilla Ganon ending, but... I'm just gonna save Warp back to the entrance, because I don't feel like fighting the Vizalfos. Oh my gosh, Navi, I've been in this room for all of two seconds and you're already neighing at me. I love how the shockwave from the hammer reaches the business scrub all the way over there. Oh hoo hoo! There we go! Alright. We juicing now. I, I was waiting for him to sell me the Ocarina of Time, like both Ocarinas being right next to each other. Didn't happen, but that would have been funny. Yeah, we're literally going to skip about 50% of this dungeon, if not 75%. <laughs> Alright, hook shot? 20 bucks. Close enough. Oh my gosh, stop neighing at me! Stop it! <laughs> I swear Navi is going off far more in the, this randomizer than she is in the vanilla game. I didn't even particularly mind Navi in the vanilla game. I know a lot of people, like, hated her guts, but... I really, I really didn't understand that. Nope! I wanted to throw that. I do not normally kill gold sculptures of bombs. This is kind of a new experience for me. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, Navi hatred is far from universal, but I feel like that's kind of the stereotype for people to not like her. Honestly though, yeah, I always kind of like Navi. She had a, I like the cool blue color of her. All right, this room. So hover boots totally break this room in half. So first we can hover over here without needing to use the block. Ooh, the so oh my gosh, Song of Storms, that opens up so much. All right, we made it back. All right. <laughs> you guys ready for this? <laughs> All right, well, I was bad there, so don't don't pay attention to that. Actually, unless I'm mistaken, I think we don't even need the hover boots. Nope. Never mind, you don't need hover boots. You can already just jump up here, jump over here, and bada beam, bada boom. It's the bomb bag chest. <laughs> if I played this smarter, I wouldn't have to do it as Oh, there we go. Piece number nine. <laughs> just break down the walls. Not of society, of Dodongo's cavern. Blook. Okay! Nope, that is the adult trading sequence. Thanks for the egg! And there's Zelda's Lullaby! Okay, Dodongo's Cavern is where the juice is at. Wow! We've gotten so many important items in here. You've made a custom randomizer seed that requires you to do precise jumps in here. Yeah, this is a fun room to uh, sequence break as Adult Link. I totally forgot you don't even need hover boots. You can literally just do this with normal jumps. You do have to be good at the game. But it can be done. Okay, this is really... <laughs> I did it once! I know I can make this jump! It's not even that difficult of a jump. Oh, that's right. I think you need to do it closer to this side. Alright. Yeah. There we go. Professional streamer, ladies and gentlemen. That is not me. I am a casual streamer and proud to be it. Also, I did not realize until I was an adult that you're supposed to drop the bombs into these eyes from above. I always thought you just had to jump down there and p physically plant the bombs in the eye sockets yourself. You also have to be looking at the bomb in order for it to register. Not sure why I did that when I have Megaton Hammer, but... That's fine, I got bombs to spare. What's in the box? It's a bigger wallet. That's nice. Man, the Dongo's Cavern has it all. I'm just waiting to get the hookshot or the bow up here. It's also nice to be able to skip all the sculptulas in here. I love how Adult Link can literally skip, like, 75% of the dungeon. Okay. 75% if you don't have Scrub Sanity turned on. If you do, then you only get to skip 50%. Oh, great. The dogs are barking. $20 for my wallet. Okay. You actually can destroy this with a Megaton Hammer. It's just a very precise whack. There's like one pixel in the dead center where you can destroy it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Hi. It's the easiest boss. <laughs> I am so happy I added all these sound effects. <laughs> And I'm so happy I have people in chat who are using them at appropriate times and not just like, <laughs> spam witchcraft because I have 10,000 channel points. <laughs> I 
Bye, Dodongo. <laughs> you do not know that trick. Yeah, it's understandable, because probably you're going to be like, can I whack this with the Megaton Hammer? You try it once, it doesn't work. You're like, okay, guess not. It does, you just have to, you just got to be persistent. <laughs> no. I'm not even going to bother getting that. Because <laughs> I bet you there's a chance that's an ice trap. Which, I, I, it shouldn't kill me, but you never know. Alright, there we go. Spirit Medallion. Give me hearts? No. Food for me? There we go. Alright, wow. Well, we have uh, Zelda's Lullaby, Song of Storms, Adult's Wallet, uh, <laughs> the Ocarina. <laughs> wow. Actually, no, at this point I'm close enough to the Song of Storms grotto, I'm not gonna... I'm like, why am I not playing the Bolero of Fire to just warp, but... Nah. Oh man, this opens up every single Great Fairy Fountain. And we're very close to getting half of the Triforce pieces. Oh man, just vanilla ocarina sounds. Oh my god. <laughs> the A's and C stick look almost interchangeable. That's funny. What you got for me? Oh my gosh, another psalm. I'm a musician now, boys. Ooh, this also means we can get the other uh, prize in the rock maze. I also can't. I don't. I can't remember if you can stop Artie the Goron with uh, the Megaton Hammer or not. Oh. <laughs> also. Power Crouch stabbing. Oh, uh, yeah. Five dollars! After I showed off that cool power crouch stabbing trick? Blame. Oh, hey, boyo. Tell me. You like hammers? He apparently does. He, do he doesn't care about it. All right. Well, this is actually bad. I'm used. I generally prefer stopping this guy by shooting an arrow into the bomb flowers, and I'm pretty darn bad at actually stopping him with a bomb <laughs> without killing myself in the process. Also, I have not found like any heart containers or pieces of heart. I think I've only found one piece of heart. By selecting minimal Triforce pieces, is that also making, like, minimal heart pieces? Because this is actually a little bit annoying. Just a tad. There's nothing available in the Goron shop. Let's take the shortcut to the crater. Oh, that's right, I don't have a tunic. Alright, what's Sheik giving me? Sheik is giving me money. I feel like Sheik always either freezes me there or gives me $20. It's like one or the other. It's very binary. Alright, boys, what you got for me? Something good? All right, bombs. I was running along those. I thank you. <laughs> Food for me? Five dollars, you rip-off artist. Food for me? Five dollars! <laughs> These scammers. 
But every once in a while, you get a business scrub that shows you something really good, like the mirror shield. <laughs> Or the Megaton Hammer. Ooh, wait. I can also do the hover boot trick here. I, I know! <laughs> Filthy pickpockets! <laughs> they're not pickpockets, they're just scammers. Like the people that keep calling me about my car's extended warranty. Are you ki Wow, Great Fairy, that's disappointing. How many s sets of five rupees are there in this? Good lord. Answer too many. Okay. There's something cool you can do here. I'm not that experienced at it, but oh my gosh, I have such little HP here. Okay, just slight change of plans. Because what I'm about to do is fairly risky. So I gotta take a checkpoint here. I never actually saw what's down here in the wall. It is... No, I'm, that's not worth it. Not worth it. I'm not going to take damage just for 20 rupees. Alright. Actually, before I attempt the trick, because it's it's fairly hard to do, and if I screw it up, I might not be able to do it. I'm just gonna get the Great Fairy Fountain up here before I forget, because it's very convenient. And I really don't want to have to leave this area. But I promise you, <laughs> you're gonna love this. Trust me. Alright, Great Fairy, please don't give me just five dollars. Well, I gotta hand it to the Great Fairy. She didn't just give me five dollars. Be careful what you wish for, Artie. That's the Great Fairy of Ice! Oh. Submit! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, well that actually kind of screws things up, because that's going to lower my overall timer in here, and I kind of... Oh, there we go. The current time is 16.25. Alright. Alright. So, if you do... If you get exactly the right angle here, and you have the hover boots, what you can do... Okay, you gotta get just the right angle. It's pretty precise. Then hover boots. You can hover boots up to the top of that. But it's, it's very precise. Actually, it might not be from up here. Maybe it's from lower down. Thankfully, I've got this grotto that I can fill up on HP in. Um, I can fill up on HP in. There we go. Yeah, the get... <laughs> not... Okay. <laughs> Didn't want to fall back in. But there is a psalm up... Wait, hang on. What color is the psalm? Because if it's one... Stop it, Link. What color is the psalm? Oh, it's orange, yeah. I, I do actually want that. I actually think you have to hover from down here, if memory serves. Uh, is, do you like, hover from this side? I remember where you hover from was not intuitive. Maybe it was just from over here. I swear, I have used hover boots to get up there. Yes. Well, this is riveting, I know. I'm doing all of this to get what's probably the Requiem of Spirit, but I mean, that's my only way into the desert right now. Yeah, there's no way it's from down here. Oh my gosh! Why has the game not given me any heart containers? For those who don't know, um, 
how much time you have to survive in here is entirely dependent on your current HP. If you only have free heart containers, you only get 24 seconds. Tops. Alright. I know this is possible. Not that. Okay, you know what? This is ridiculous. I'm I'm not gonna get that just yet. There are plenty of other places I can check. Actually, no. You, simpler solution is uh, one of these shops does sell Goron tunics. I've, I can't remember which one. Actually, if it's the Goron shop, I'm just gonna grind up rupees till I can get the Goron tunic because that will actually genuinely be very helpful. It's of course it's not. Dog on. Actually, do it. I do not want to use that, actually. Serenade of Water would actually not be a great thing to play right now. Because there's nothing in Lake Hylia for me to get. Alright. I'm going to take the warp to Kokiri. Unfortunately, I can't get past Mido right now. So no forest temple for Artie. Sorry, folks. I said you were going to love it, and I wasn't able to pull off that trick. I'm going to have to <laughs> practice it some more and know exactly where you need to actually hover from. But I swear it is possible. <laughs> I super promise. I've pulled it off, and it's a common speedrunning trick. Now I just need to remember where they sell Goron tunics. Because I really want one now. <laughs> I want it! <laughs> this is America, and I want it now. Alright, where else can we go? Oh, I know. Zora's River! Because there are a couple business scrubs we can access now that we've got that Song of Storms. We can also go to the Royal Family's Tomb. Maybe I'll try to hit that up at the same time that I hit up the um, Heart Pounding Grave Digging Tour. Although I also don't have a way of lighting the torches just yet, so maybe it would be better to go all there in one go? I don't know. <laughs> Part of the fun of randomizers is trying to prioritize where to go and when. All right, business scrubs. Something good? Ooh, sorry, the psalm. Okay. I can now go to Sacred Forest Meadow. That's pretty nifty. I also just realized it could be the Requiem of Spirit up on that volcanic rock, or it could be Opponent's Psalm. And Opponent's Psalm would actually be pretty nice. Either way could potentially give me access to the Spirit Temple. Alright, well, we're going right back onto that forest. We can also befriend Skull Kid. And we can also make Dar Darunia dance. We still can't beat Deku Tree, though. No slingshot. Although we could access the slingshot room in the Deku uh, Tree now that we've got uh, Deku Shield. Sacred Forest Meadow, I think, will only yield three things. There, there's a Solna Storms Grotto with business scrubs, and then there's whatever uh, Sheik will teach us there. Sheik would never freeze me. That's... <laughs> Sheik would never do that. Hey, dude. 
I know the song, I know the song, I know the sorry song, so please let me through. I like how you hear him echo as he rolls through the forest. It's a nice touch. Okay, unfortunate. Oh, wait, I just realized. I have to get through Moblins without a hookshot and without a bow. Oh, this is going to suck. I already don't like sneaking past Moblins to begin with, but... Oh, man. Taking away, like, my primary mode of protection... He didn't notice me. Alright. Ooh, hi. Okay. I'm gonna have to play this smart. I have never played this stealthily before in my entire life. Yes! Ha! -ha! Stabbed him in the back. Uh oh. This is not good. Okay, I, I hate this one. Oh, you didn't know that they were vulnerable to the hook shot in the vanilla game? Oh. So you made your life miserable! I don't understand why their front is just covered with super armor. And they can also just do a, a 180 on a dime. Okay, I got too greedy there. I, I can admit that. <laughs> Splee! <laughs> All right, not gonna embarrass myself this time. I actually don't know if these guys are vulnerable to bombs or not. Doesn't matter. Hey, dude, nice underwear. Imagine that being the last words you ever hear. Nice underwear. Okay, d d did they replace every single piece of heart with a recovery heart? Because I'm kind of getting annoyed that I'm not getting more than free hearts. I can do free heart runs, but I like to know in advance that that's what I'm getting myself into. I think by taking out all of the additional Triforce pieces. I also took out, like, all heart pieces and heart containers. For some reason, they don't keep those separate. Thanks for the shield I already have. Thanks for refunding me my money. Yeah, that really wasn't worth it. Okay. Well... Where to go to next? I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna return to being a child. I also, Oh yeah, I also have the egg, so I can actually start the child training quest. I don't know how helpful it'll be, but it's something to do. Hmm... Man, I've been I've gotten locked out of so much stuff. I'm starting to wonder if there's actually like if you I'm starting to wonder like turning stuff to minimal how much that actually affected the game. Cuz it might be like oh there are actually technically like three hook shots normally and then once you get the first two the third one just turns into junk. I actually don't know one way or the other but that it could be that way. <laughs> it do be that way sometimes. Still can't do the treasure shop game. Guess I'll go to the castle. Visit Zelda. It's up to you. 
Actually, yeah, visiting Zelda opens up kind of a lot, because then Wan Wan Ranch has more stuff for me to check. Oh yeah, and the Great Fairy Fountain. I forgot about this. Granted, the Great Fairies have been very disappointing thus far, but... Maybe they're not all like that. Blue Skadoo, we can do. <laughs> and the chicken immediately hatched as I was climbing through the tunnel. Bombs. Yeah, a little... Kind of lackluster great fairy fountains. Only I would accidentally randomize things into a free heart playthrough. <laughs> it just was... I was just told by the randomizer, like, if you want to take out the additional Triforce pieces, set things to minimal. I didn't think that that was going to affect other things besides the, the Triforce pieces. But I'm pretty sure it's affecting, at the very least, the heart pieces. Maybe the heart containers are still randomized, but... There are a ton of pieces of heart in the game, and I have not found a... Wait, actually... Did I find a piece of heart? I found one! Okay, so they do actually exist, but maybe there's just at a drastically reduced rate. Hey, buddy, you gotta wake up. It's-a me, a Talon! Man, the castle really needs better security. The, there are no guards anywhere around here. Weren't they afraid about Talon doing something? Probably not. They're oh, it's just Talon. If he wants to take a nap, let him. He's harmless. Hey, Impa. Sup, girl? A stick. Oh, fantastic. Alright, guys. It's time for everyone's favorite part of the game. We're gonna do Bombachu Bowling Alley. Doop, lurpity skirp, herp derp, herpity skirp. Hey, let's play Bamachu Bowling Alley today. Hey, girl. Oh, they're not open? But why? But why? I have the bomb bag. Hmm. Spoiled brat. Uh, whatever. I do not understand when the Bomb Jubilee Alley that opens up, then. I've even beaten Dodongo's Cavern. I thought as soon as you get the Bomb Bag, you can play it, because you need Bomb Bag to hold Bomb Shoes. Okay. I am thoroughly confused. Alright, well, let's, let's crash Lon Lon Ranch. I'm sure nobody will mind. <clears throat> Sup, bro? I want to marry Malon, and I'm willing to play a game of chicken to <laughs> to earn her hand in marriage. I saw that one fall. Everyone fell over here somewhere. There we go. And the last one should be over here somewhere. There we go! Easy game. Yes, I'd like to marry Malon. And he gives me bombs! Everybody loves their explosives in this. I don't know how I, how I should feel about that.
Is there anybody who knows exactly when the bomb Chiboin Alley opens up? Because I thought it was right after you got the bomb bag, but I'm apparently wrong. Okay, Psalm of Time! <laughs> Malon knows the real psalms. She knows how to travel back in time with her voice. Song of Time isn't spectacular as far as opening up new locations, but there are some things you do need Song of Time for. You hate bomb you boys, so you don't remember? That fair enough. Oh wait, I could also do child fishing, folks, because I actually have the Kokiri sword. <laughs> well then. Uh, before I do that, though, I, I have a date in Kakariko. Oh, perfect! It's turning sunset, so it'll just barely be nighttime. But, we, but when we reach Kakariko, we can get all the sculptures there, and we can do the heart pounding grave digging tour. I agree, Navi. Or Navi, or Navi, or ha whatever, however you pronounce your name. I'm pretty sure it's Navi. <laughs> I like how the staircase, like, <laughs> is very clearly not finished, because I didn't think anyone would m move the camera over there. <laughs> hey, bro. Don't call me disgusting. I take serious offense to that insult. Boom! Also, how many sculptural tokens do I have? Oh my gosh, I have not been keeping track of those at all. <laughs> Whoopsies! Gosh, Navi, you've got to shut up. Oh, can I actually hit this guy with the boomerang? What if I curve it a little? Nope. I need slingshot or I need bomb chew. Here's a letter. It's from Zelda. That's an impressive gate you got there. Actually, will I be able to reach 20 gold sculptures here? I know there's one over here, and I know there's one by the house of Sculptula. Oh, doggone it. If only I could actually kill the Sculptula up on that tower, but I can't. It's okay, there's one in the graveyard that we can grab. Then we'll have 20, and we can get another bad reward from the Sculptula guys. All right, Dampe. I'm your only customer, so give me something nice. Give me something great. Doop -doop 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 -doop. Ten rupees, dig here for me. It's five rupees. You are a ripoff artist. Yay. All right. With Boomerang, we can get this guy. Oh, that's right. I don't think I actually listed that I caught the Sculptula tokens for any of the Lon Lon Ranch ones. <laughs> Thanks for the generous donation! <laughs> Alright, then there's one right next to the house. We can just grab that, get ourselves the next Sculptula reward. Ooh! Also, Bottom of the Well is open! I didn't even register that. Also, I could have gotten whatever the windmill guy had as an adult, but that's okay. Oh yes, Bottom of the Well. Actually, we can do a lot in the Bottom of the Well. I don't even need the magic meter. Actually, I think we can do everything in Bottom of the Well. Hey, Mobius, how's it going? Yeah, he has a golden tunic. Also, you got gifted a sub. So you've got a nice star next to your name.
No, it's not pea colored. It's it's golden. Golden like the Triforce, which is actually very fitting, given that that's what we're hunting. Habuski. <laughs> Enjoy your pup putt emote. Spam it all over the place. Hey, bro, I freed you. What you gonna give me? You're gonna give me five dollars just like your brother. Wow. The House of Skulltula has really fallen on hard financial times. They used to be like the richest family in the whole game, and now they're, they're giving out like Koopa Koop level rewards almost. Oh, and it's such a good thing that I did not equip my Deku Shield yet, because <laughs> there are fire keys that I'm almost certainly going to get hit by in here. Oh man, and a free heart run of bottom of the well. This is going to be interesting. And it's because of it's because of this dungeon and the Shadow Temple, which is why I do not randomize music. Because anything other than this music for Shadow Temple and Bottom of the Well kind of ruins the mood. Oh man. Seek the Eye of Truth. I'll do that, bro. Is it weird that this and the Shadow Temple are my favorite parts of the game? Possibly. <laughs> it's so... The creepy atmosphere is just perfectly done. Like, it's absolutely terrifying. One of the most terrifying places I've been to in a video game. And But at the same time, like, I love it so much. Partially because of that. Oh, yay, it's worthless. Oh, actually, now that I have the Hylian Shield, I think I'll equip that one in here. Because that is actually going to be useful. Exhibit A. What the heck? I was shielding! <laughs> you think the Forest Temple's your favorite? That's a lot of people's favorite. I respect it. It's definitely a good one. Maybe, maybe I partially got soured on that just... Purely because, um, <laughs> on my first playthrough, I got stuck in there for so long because I missed the key in the first room. But now that, now that I've beaten it, I definitely appreciate it. Water Temple is your favorite, Proxima. Interesting. That's most people's least favorite, but I think it gets a bad rap. It's a beautiful place with gorgeous music. It's just got very difficult puzzles. Alright, let's drain the well. That is not how you drain the well. Honestly, yeah, I think most people hate it just because you constantly have to pause to change between your boots. And I think a lot of people got lost in it. It's really not that confusing of a dungeon, though. And as far as, as, far as 3D Zelda water dungeons go, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's definitely... I definitely like it more than Great Bay for Majora. Iron Boots! Hey! Speaking of which, we can almost enter the Water Temple now. We just have that little bit of an issue with regards to, um... What is it again? Uh, what, what is it? It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, yeah. We don't have the hook shot. I have never gone this small in a seed without getting the hook shot. It's actually kind of surreal. The fact that missing a key can mean running an entire extra lap really sucks. That's uh, yeah, that's also true. So there could be a, a lot of backtracking involved. All right. I can never navigate this room without alerting the gibber. Yep. See. <laughs> Relax, bro. I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting these bats out of their prison. They've been here for so long. I would say out of the, like, official... Oh my gosh, are those the light arrows? The brightest light can truly indeed be found in the deepest darkness. As far as, like, the... All of the dungeons in the game. So out of the adult dungeons, I do think Water Temple is probably my least favorite. At least to go through in a randomizer. Probably followed by the Fire Temple. Shadow Temple is my favorite. Shadow, Shadow Temple is, like, one of my favorite Zelda dungeons ever. 
If we're including the Yunlink dungeons in there, nah, even if, even if Yunlink dungeons are included, I still prefer Jabu Jabu over Water Temple, but I don't hate Water Temple. I just think it's more of a pain in the butt to navigate through. I know! I swear they have replaced every piece of heart with a blue rupee. I'm also, again, kind of disappointed that more of these are not ice traps. I said I wanted more ice traps, doggone it. I want more ice traps. Also, it's Raz time, Wazanski. Hi, Raz. Alright, let's see if we can pull this off. I think that hand is going to screw it up. No, it's not! We got the jump attack, Alpha. Oh, but I can't- I can't Z-target now. Why do I want Ice Traps? Because at least they're funnier than Blue Rupees are. Blue Rupees just like, oh wow, nothing really happened. Ice Trap is the game basically saying, haha, screw you. Which makes for good content. Okay, rats. I got one of the jump attacks out, but not any more than that. Oh, that's a shame. If I'd gotten another jump attack off, I would have finished it early. That's the creepiest thing in the game, perhaps in any game. Am I the only one who never found it to be creepy, like, at all? I, I literally always just thought it looked like Roz from Monsters, Inc. Oh, there's the magic beans. That's cool. I get why people find it creepy now, but I've always just been like, okay, it's like a white thing with red spots on it, whatever. I always found the... Oh, let's see. Creepiest fiend in this game? There's so much to choose from. It's actually kind of hard. Definitely something in one of in either here or the Shadow Temple. Pro oh! You know what I think the creepiest fiend in this game is? Is when you go to the Shadow Temple, into that one room, and you've got the creepy skull drawings, like Shadow Temple, here is Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. That always that line always gave me the chills. Alright. Let's see if we can do this last part without the lens of truth. It is rather annoying to do, but let's hope I remember exactly where all the pits are. Oh, I even have all three keys. We're only gonna use one of them though. Okay, so you hug the wall here. Alright. 50 bucks. We're gonna guard against these keys. Hope that they go away. Oh, that was close. Nope. Stop Z-targeting. Whew! We made it through. There are a ton of invisible pits in that room, and navigating around them without seeing where they are is kind of difficult. Duck on another recovery heart. Also, with regards to the Blue Rupee Bonanza, when you play with Scrub Sanity on, more Blue Rupees do get added to the pool dog on it. Stupid like like. Yeah, no bed sheet, nav Navi. I hate like likes. The hitboxes are super messed up. Like half, ninety percent of them is like armor for some reason. Did he devour my shield entirely? Nope, I get it back. That's good. Yeah, Exhibit A. Visible pit. Last chest is in here. Wonder what's inside. Oh yes, and I do I do start with every map and every compass so I don't have to collect them. Some more opportunities for you to find new stuff in the dungeons. Get out of here, get out of here. Hi Redead. I'm not I'm not gonna bother you. I just I just want what's in this big treasure chest. I hate it when that happens. Oh, I am full on rupees. I need to buy me a tunic. Also, I need to go fishing. Oh, 
Like, I need to go fishing. It's, it's something that must be done. And as long as I don't screw things up, it's actually pretty easy and fast. Alright. I probably should have gotten some of the gold sculptures in the bottom of the well, but... Nah. Oh, also, I should start planting magic beans. Because I have all ten of them. It's like, oh, yeah! Oh, guys! Now we can actually get that song that's on the volcanic rock without me having to spend hours trying to get the hover boots trick to work. Oh, this is great. This is a great day. Hello, sir. I would like one fish, please. I would like one fishing, please. Alright. We aim for the log. There he is. Oh, wow, he bit onto that real fast. The biggest fish in the pond is always in the exact same place, so as long as you know exactly where to cast your rod, <laughs> it's pretty easy. Of course, he can just randomly break away on occasion, but if you know how to fish it, that rarely happens. Come on. Get over here, you big lunker. Come on. Well, I'll be. It's about eight pounds. That's good enough for me. Hey, bro, weigh my fish. <laughs> he had a piece of the Triforce. <laughs> if you want to... If you want to complete the Triforce and beat Ganon, you've got to learn how to be a good fisherman when you're a young child. But I already grew up. Oh, too bad. You're not saving uh, Zelda then. We are now officially halfway done with the Triforce quest. Man, that last Triforce piece, that, that took a while. Eight pounds you fight, you needed ten. I um you need you need more than eight if you're an adult. As a child you only need uh eight. Like like I said, Nintendo Addict, the fish spawn the biggest fish that you can catch always spawns in the exact same spot, whether you're a child or an adult. As long as you fish there, it's pretty easy. It only gets tricky if the line breaks or if like he catches on and then you lose him. If that's the case, I recommend literally just leaving and coming back. And then the only other place I need to plant the magic bean will be Desert Colossus, which I can't reach. So... Geronimo! Oh yeah! Royal Family Tomb. We should also do this. I kind of wanted to wait until I had magic powder, but whatever. You've had times where the the stupid fish takes... Yeah. Oh, that's fair. I did definitely get very lucky that the fish just bit immediately. For sure. I. But even then, as again, once you kind of know the trick to, like, perfectly luring him, whether it be wiggling the stick or, like, tapping the A button occasionally, yeah, eventually you get kind of get the timing down, and it's pretty simple. And if, he, and if he's just not biting, you just pull the reel in, throw it back to him, and try again. Okay, well, we have very little HP. We don't have the tunic, and... Okay, so we're gonna have to do this the safe way. Normally, I just kind of plow on through. But we're not gonna do that.
I'm actually being stealthy in this game. It is bomb, man. This is dedicated to the royal family. Bombs. All right. Uh, oh, I didn't even know you could. I didn't know there was a ledge over here. Don't worry, buddy. I'm not causing you any problems. Okay, run for it. There you go. If you walk slowly enough, the re-deads do not bother you. Of course, it also makes for rather boring content, but I only had two hearts, so... <laughs> you know what? You take what you can get. Ooh, we should also go to Zora's River and play the song for the frogs. I also probably need to find out where those flippin' Goron tunics are being sold. I know Zora tunics are sold at the Kokiri shop. I remember that. I think Goron tunics were sold at the Adult Bazaar, so I should head there next. Wee. All right, Zora's River, play Rain for the Frogs, and then we go back to being Adult Link. Oh, we can also go to Zora's Domain now. Wait, I totally forgot. I don't know why I thought Zora's Domain was just completely locked until I got the scale. No, I have Zelda's Lullaby. What am I doing with my life? Oh man, Zora Shop could actually have really good stuff. Oh, never mind, we're going there next. Do 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 do. Man, I'm rusty at this. I keep forgetting that I can reach new areas. Come here, chicken. You're gonna fly me over there. I think technically regular Link can get across that gap without the chicken, but it's a rather precise jump. Thank you, chicken. Your service was not in vain. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. That's nice, sugar. You guys like that? A Deku Shield! Wow, I've gotten quite a few of those. Are they trying to tell me, just put on the flippin' Deku Shield, bro? Alright, alright already. <laughs> oh, I could also technically buy the Ice Arrows, but there is literally no point. Because Ice Arrows are worthless in this, and I can't even fire them. I don't have the bow or the magic power needed to do so. That's how it always is. When I try to speed up my ocarina plane, it ends up slowing it down because I keep messing up. I love how I've only beaten one dungeon, and I've been streaming for over two hours. <laughs> Third time's the charm, indeed. Alright, Zora Shop. Zora Shop, Zora Shop, open the door and see what's inside. I see a wallet upgrade! And it's a real one! All right, that is a bargain. Bargain for Francis. I'm gonna hold off on those bomb shoes because I want to save up for that nice tunic. All right, giant's wallet. That's that's a good one.
Let's play the diving game. As far as the mini games in this go, it's one of the better ones. And by that I mean it is easy. All right, fellas, let's roll! That was almost nearly very bad, Link. You almost dove headfirst into a stone stalagmite. Yes! You time your dives right, you can actually pick up two rupees with a single dive, provided they're close enough together. I have no bottles at all. No bottles, no new heart containers, no bow, no sling shot, no hook shots, no magic meter. This is a very interesting seed thus far. I know pieces of heart exist! I've gotten one! It was one of the first things I got, actually. Wow. Okay, I'm not turning st I'm not turning things to minimal again. I love how I'm rolling, and the flame is very clearly touching the water, but it's not actually extinguishing. Alright, big chest. Time for the big boy chest. What you got? You got... I'll take it! Because I can actually hold it. Alright, well, that's it for Zora's Domain. Nothing really worth... Uh, no, I got the Giant's Wallet. That was worthwhile. That was it, though. Alright, man. So, I've, I've gotten a couple of good things at the shops, but for the most part, they've been pretty dead. Then again, this seed largely seems to be pretty dead. Uh, how much am I going to regret saying that I wanted to finish this all in one stream? It's on it. I'm not even going to be able to make it back to the castle. Not before it closes. Well, bother. That's a bit frustrating. That's okay. Turbo button. <laughs> it's turbo time. I do not mind using the turbo button if I'm not doing like a multi-world or a competitive race. But as you can see, it doesn't make things go that much faster. It also cuts out the music and sound effects. Okay. So you two both come over here. Yes, now we trap them on the other side of the wall. For some reason, the game will not spawn any more than two uh, style children at the same time. And so they're just going to be stuck here. <laughs> also, you guys want to see a great way to make money? Very simple to do, despite what it may look. Wait for this to go down, face into this wall, hold L2 or Z target, sidestep up here. Once you get up here, do a backflip down here. You'll land safely and get 20 rupees. Do the exact same thing on this side. Boom, free 40 rupees. And you can just keep grinding that over and over again. It's a great way to make money early on in the game. And it looks so cool, and it's way easier than it looks. All right, before I become an adult... <laughs> I 
<laughs> you want the ice arrows, mate? Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm just checking to see if they actually do sell uh, tunics. Nope. And at this point, why not? I'll rent the Keaton mask. It's not like I'm going to do anything with that. Have faith. I do, and I will. It's the Keaton mask, but I'm not going to sell it to the guy unless I really start hitting some dead ends. Your girlfriend taught you to do that? Nice. I, I had to figure that out for I'm um, just watching speedrunners. And I'm like, that looks so cool and so difficult, but like I'll try it out. And I'm like, oh, that's actually like really easy to get the timing down. Literally, as long as you run into the wall and then Z-target, you'll be perfectly... 90 degrees, like, perpendicular to the actual drawbridge, so you literally just hold right or left and tap A, and you won't fall down. <laughs> Alright. Now we can actually start, uh, using those magic beans. <laughs> First step, we are going back to Death Mountain Crater. Doom, 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 doom. Technically, at least a portion of the Fire Temple is available to me. Alright. Opponent's Psalm or Requiem of Spirit? I'm guessing Requiem of Spirit. Requiem of Spirit, sure enough. <laughs> Real clear. <laughs> I played the Serenade of Water. But I'm gonna die of smoke inhalation. Man. Where are these really important things, like the hookshot and the bow? Although, technically, I might not need them. Now that I think about it, depending on where the Triforce pieces are, I might not actually need the hookshot or the bow to complete the seed. It's technically possible. What's up here? Pfft, the recovery heart. Great. Well, that's not all we can do. And that's not all we can do. Wow, the magic bean platform still hasn't come back yet. That's right, it makes the full rounds. We can also ride it and go fishing again. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We can perform the perfect cast. <laughs> Pass down from goof to goof. Hey, bro, what's up? Yeah, I want to fish again. Let's see if you can beat your record. Don't worry, I'm just going to go to the exact same place as last time. The big, f Whoever's the big fish is the most dominant fish, and whoever's the most dominant fish gets to hang out at the sunken uh, log. All right. Will we be able to pull him in immediately like the last one? Okay. So sometimes you get unlucky and he's not interested, but you saw he swam right back to that sunken log. So we can just, again, cast again, try again. There we go! Yeah, and again, if he happens to break free of the line... Then he he generally swims off to who knows where, and I literally just quit fishing, leave, come back, pay the guy 20 rupees again just to try again. <laughs> if you've got the cash to do it, that's generally going to be the faster way of doing things, because that'll reset the fish's position back to the log. It's a real lunker. Yeah, so you need the 10-pound fish when you're an adult, and as a child, you only need the 8-pound fish. Weigh my fish. Whoa! Wow! You broke my record! We can't have that! <laughs> Die! That's fantastic. Not quite as extreme as the shopkeeper from Link's Awakening, but then again, who is? <laughs> ha! 
How dare you catch a big fish? You must die. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> How dare you be better than me? So how much of the spirit temple can I even do? Wow, twenty dollars. All right, Adult Bazaar. I am like ninety percent sure that they sell Goron tunics, and I am I am more than willing to buy one. I normally don't need them, but if I only have free hearts, I'm gonna need it. Generally, once I get around the 8 heart mark, I'm pretty comfortable not needing a Goron Tunic, but because the game is not handing out pieces of heart or heart containers, I'm gonna need some protection. Yeah, I thought so. Yep. Give me a Goron Tunic. Ooh, it's hot pink! I'm not normally one for pink myself, but I think it'll look good on Link. Alright. Off to Desert Colossus. Alright, Fairy Fountain first. Oh, also... I'm not sure if I can, can still do it, but... One day I started practicing uh, just going around the desert uh, wasteland. I wasn't able to make it to Desert Colossus without the Lens of Truth, but I was able to backtrack from the Desert Colossus to the shrine where you light the torches without the Lens of Truth. Which was interesting, so that's a skill that I've tucked away. I'm not sure if I can continually do it, but I might be able to. Alright, you give me... Great fairies. They freeze you, give you like five dollars, or they give you explosives. It's one of them. Also, I'm not sh I can't remember exactly who taught this to me, but... Is I ever a Nintendo Addict or JP? If you stand on this rock here and play the Song of Storms... Actually fills up the oasis here. It's one of the it this game has so many little things. You found that one by yourself, Proxima? Nice! Good for you. I I never would have figured that out. There was like no real indication. It's really cool though. Yeah, obscure but neat, exactly. So I can't actually do anything in the Spirit Temple right now, because I don't have the uh, Silver Gauntlets. I could as Young Link, though. Alright, what you gonna give me? You give... <laughs> God, stop giving me useless money. Okay. We're going to Fire Temple. Actually, there is a chance. There is a chance that I could fight Volvagia almost right away. If I get the boss key in these lower rooms, I can literally fight Volvagia immediately. <laughs> Nintendo Addict, thanks for the 20 bits. I appreciate it. <laughs> 20 bits for 20 rupees. Nice. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Never picking minimal again. Oh, man. I actually have to... I really have to watch my damage in here. Because I see... I could very easily die in this dungeon, because enemies are decently powerful, and I have no ranged options other than bombs. Bombs... If bombs are your only ranged option, that's not good. Oh, man. Yeah, see, I'm already at one health. Keys are going to be extremely difficult to deal with, with only a sword and bombs. I can't believe I have to resort to using bombs to kill Keys because they're that annoying. I 
have no ranged options. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Part of me is just saying we should probably get out of here. I'm going to let the flying tiles... I'm going to kill those. <laughs> Please don't warp on me there, like, like, buddy. One good hit from something like a gold sculpture, and I am through. Wow. Stand still, lock on, and press B when they get close. Uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm supposed to do. Alright. Flare Dancer is going to be a lot easier than the Keys. He has a much better laugh as well. As long as he doesn't jump right on me. He tried to. <laughs> that moment when the mini boss is easier than a single bat. Like, genuinely, I find that guy easier than killing a single bat. <laughs> With, at least without the bow or the hook shot. So if this, or if the boss key chest actually has the boss key in it. Well, it's got a small key. You're gonna find a lot of those in this dungeon. I could kind of go for early boss key, honestly. Because beating Volvagia would get me the Shadow Medallion, and that means I can get Light Arrows, or whatever Light Arrows are. Ooh! Oh, Prelude of Light. Well, I mean, that's nice. That'll help me get back to Temple of Time as Young Link. Be gone, foul miscreation. I guess if this also has the boss key in it, that would be hilarious. <laughs> we put the boss key right next to the boss door. They'll never find it! <laughs> Cue Ganondorf laugh. Nope, just... Oh, small key. Alright. I believe there are fairy pots up here. And I could kind of go for one. Beautiful. <laughs> I love that sound effect for the hover boots, by the way. <laughs> it's very fitting. Uh oh. What the heck? I did not know you could grab onto that. Okay. I'll take it, though. There we go. That's how you deal with the keys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Generally, taking Twitch chat's advice is not a good idea, but there are exceptions. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually remarkably easy. But also, me trying to get Keese out of the sky by throwing bombs at them was probably funnier content. <laughs> Sometimes you do what you gotta do for the content. No, 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 come back! I'm an American citizen, I have rights! Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. <laughs> You're flattered. <laughs> Be flattered. You're one of the few people in Twitch chat I can reliably trust. <laughs> nah, that's just already being weird. Don't worry about it, folks. My Twitch chat is great. But when you get to the, the streamers who have just, like, thousands of people in Twitch chat and you basically can't read it, yeah, they tend to be kind of a hive mind, and the, the, the mind they share is not a particularly bright one. In my personal experience. In my lived experience. I normally don't go up here, but at this point, I actually might be needing some of those Sculptula tokens. So, 
I definitely, yeah. There, it needs to be the right size stream, because, like, really tiny streams that, don't, like, don't have anybody in chat at all. I mean, there's not much point in streaming then. I generally, I think if you can keep it under triple digits, it's generally pretty great. Once you hit that 100 mark, though, things generally start getting a little, little crazy. Oh, you know, I bet, okay, so here's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing by setting the Triforce pieces to minimal so that there weren't any extras. So, A, I'm pretty sure almost every piece of heart in heart container was taken out. I'm also guessing that now there's no double magic and only one magic meter, and I need to find it. No, Link, come on. I bet you there's also no, like, bomb bag expansions or quiver upgrades, which is why we haven't found the bow yet. Why, why does it lump all of those together? What if I just want 20 star points? Oh, are you having cake? <laughs> I wish. I don't eat cake during streams. It's a little too messy. Minimal removes everything that is not required to beat the game in a vanilla way. Doggone it. It just told me, like, oh, if you want only 20 Triforce pieces with no extras, just t change it to minimal. I figured that was all that it was going to do. Nope. All right. Well, it's a good thing that I've played Ocarina of Time so much, and I've actually done free heart runs before. Hey, Marty. How's it going? Uh, if you can't hear anything on your end, uh, check to see if the stream is muted. Also, Marty, you're going to want to check out the uh, channel points rewards. Oh, wait. Well, I'll, I'll wait to say that until she can actually hear me. Yep. Probably only one bottle as well. Oh, is your computer issue? Okay. Well, glad you can hear. Uh, Marty, if you want, you should probably check out the, uh, the channel points rewards. I've added some new ones that I think you're really going to like. That'll make the Ice Cavern a bit more tedious. I can do Ice Cavern one bottle. It's not that big of a deal. It's annoying, but whatever. What you, <laughs> what you gonna do? Are you having cake? I knew Marty was going to redeem that one first. <laughs> okay, I swear I have never in my life gotten through this room without getting hit by at least one boulder. Never. No matter what I do, one of them always finds me. <laughs> yeah, everybody say happy birthday to Marty. It's her real birthday. We celebrated her birthday early, but... Whoa, whoa! So I guess that are you having cake is extremely appropriate for you, because <laughs> you actually very well might be. Oh my gosh, I didn't get hit by a boulder. However, it's not dungeon done yet. <laughs> I guarantee I'm going to get hit by one before the dungeon's over. I wanted to make the O oh, Are You Having Cake actually include the animation of Mr. Rapper saying it, but I can't figure out how to get that to work. I was just getting a still image of Mr. Rapper and not the actual full video. I could go for cake, too. Unfortunately, I don't have any cake. So Marty will have to eat my share. I do have ice cream, though, and chocolate-covered raisins. Okay. This room. One wrong step and you get sent plummeting down, down, down. Oh, I have no small keys. Ah, no, that's not what I wanted to do! <laughs> okay, actually, I think I'm stuck in here now. Why was a dog barking constantly in the dungeon? The dog barking is my low health noise. That's why. Okay! Unless I'm mistaken, that is everything I can do in the Fire Temple, and I need the bow in order to continue. So, where to head to next? I can't do any... I can't enter Forest Temple, because I don't have the hook shot. I can't enter Water Temple, because I don't have the hook shot. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Child Spirit Temple. I think that's basically the only thing I can do now. 
Echo! How are you doing? Welcome! Glad to see you here. You're, uh, you're tuning in for <laughs> Ocarina of Time Rando, first time doing the Triforce Hunt, and I accidentally shut myself out of, like, every single heart piece and double magic and all upgrades, and yeah, it's a free heart run, basically. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, Marty, I didn't realize that you redeemed... Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, Marty redeemed a thousand channel points, so I have to talk in a weird voice for a minute. I'm sorry, okay, so... <laughs> starting now, I have to talk in a weird voice. Alright, so I'm not gonna go off and do the Spirit Temple now as a child. This is gonna be pretty great, folks. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Marty. I, I didn't see that there. <laughs> Yeah, so, Child Spirit Temple is going to be interesting. We're going to want to equip the uh, Hyrule Shield first off. Because, uh, yeah, we don't want our Deku Shield burning in here. They're, they're keys that are on fire. With the Boomerang, I think we can make it decently far, but I don't know how far we really can go. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> Gotta love the flying pots that hit you for a heart, but then immediately give you a heart back. <laughs> I sound like Red Dead or John Marston. Yeah, this was starting out as one of my weird guard voices from uh, Ace Attorney, but it kind of turned Southern real fast. <laughs> Alright, take out the keys first. Ouch. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Is this the room that has the switch on the ceiling? No, that's the adult sign. That's good. Alright. Come down here, keys. Don't make me throw a bomb at you. Literally, my, my only ranged option right now is throwing by- No, oh, you suck! Son of a gun! Get out of here. You don't appreciate the freedom that we got here in this country. <laughs> I feel like this voice has changed multiple times in the one minute I've been doing it. Come here, almost not. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forgot I own the boomerang. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a, I'm a child now. I can throw a boomerang. Apparently, once you become 18 years old, you, it becomes forbidden for you to throw boomerangs. That's just how the world works. <laughs> Alright, I, I think the one minute is up now. Oh no, I, I just realized this is actually going to be really tough. Do you want to have a Stalfos with only a little HP? Yeah, and, uh... <laughs> this actually might... This might be a little tricky. <laughs> Thank goodness. I didn't... I, I actually did not know the Boomerang can stun Stalfos. I got lucky there. <laughs> Probably should have died there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Mar Marty... <laughs> You might want to space out those channel points, because um, if you do start abusing the weird voice fan, I'm eventually going to cut you off. But you can do it more than once, for sure. I just am going to have to come up with some uh, multiple weird voices to do. Get out of my way. Skulls that get in my way, get blown to kingdom come! <laughs> well, the thing is, I don't... I never really use, utilize channel points until today, so... And most of them are pretty cheap. I only made the weird voice a thousand points, so she could literally do it okay. 20 more times if she wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna have to preemptively start thinking of weird voices I can do. Yeah! Wait, what the? Oh, are you having cake? <laughs> Everyone, I, I'm glad people are enjoying the or, "Are you having cake?" <laughs> oh man. Okay. I'm actually going to have to solve this puzzle the puzzly way. I normally just, uh... I normally just use Din's Fire to destroy the Anubis in this room, but... There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> that get out made me panic and jump off the cliff! <laughs> you literally killed me with that or The most exciting thing about winning is when you win. I love that feeling! <laughs> this is the best stream I've done. <laughs> nope. No! No! Navi! Navi! Don't do that! <laughs> the
Now people know that all they have to do is play play the loud alerts, and then it'll make me panic and mess up. <laughs> when what is that when you win fiend from? Arthur says that in Arthur the Loser when he starts cheating at uh the games. He's like cheating at no guessing, winning all the time. Then he's just like at the dinner table with like his family, and he's just like, you know what's the most exciting feat about winning? It's when you win. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm free. I'm free. Like the genie. Oh my gosh, we found what is probably going to be the only bottle we get in the entire game. Okay, that opens up. <laughs> <laughs> These new sounds are a great idea. Oh, thank you. I, I thought they were. <laughs> oh, also, I ha I can add basically an indefinite amount of them. So if people have like suggestions, I'm always well, I'm always open. <laughs> I'm sure Marty would have a whole bunch of them. <laughs> the the more weird Arthur quotes I can put in, the better probably. Chat should vote on a new channel sound to add. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down for suggestions. Obviously, I reserve Supreme Overlord Dictatorship right. Okay, yeah, that's going to get added, Proxima. Objection will get added. <laughs> You've sold me. The question is, which character saying objection? Probably Phoenix Wright. Or I could add one for each, because guess what? I don't think there's really a cap on the number of sounds you can have added. Oh, hi, bro. I'm just gonna sneak. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> gonna pull the Michigander fiend. Oh, just gonna sneak. <laughs> yes! I can add all this for a loaf of bread? That's a good one. Man, you guys have good suggestions. <laughs> and I've only heard two of them. I, I might have to be a little careful with the Disney sounds to not make them too long, otherwise, uh, Disney might be like, hey, excuse me, Artie. Uh, you can't, uh, play that on your channel because that's Disney property. Oh, darn it. I- darn it. I just made this harder on myself. Now I gotta time the bomb. Oh, that was easy. I normally throw the bomb at the Skullwalchula, and then he just, uh... And then he just instantly blows up and takes the wall with him, but that's fine, it worked out. Alright! Oh, boss key! Not that I can even reach the boss door right now, but that's good to have. A small key. Oh my gosh. Marty. Marty, I'm going to have to put in some quotes from Piglet's big game, aren't I? <laughs> Either a small key is exactly what one would need to open a small door, or this was not just any seed, this was bird seed. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to. <laughs> oh, don't lag on me, game. Uh, I have no fire. Oh, wait, I do have a fire source. It's called Deku Stick! I normally didn't fire this, but you're probably supposed to use the torch. I feel like almost everything I think Dins fire is required for, it's not actually required. I think the only thing that's actually needed for is to open the Shadow Temple. Another key. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Getting the sound effects from Piglet's Big Game is going to be the tricky part. I think I might have to literally record it from my capture card. <laughs> Which means booting up that atrocious game. <laughs> I feel like I'd have to do the small key one just for this. <laughs> Alright. And everyone else in Twitch chat has literally no idea what we're talking about, because we are the only two human beings alive who actually played Piglet's Big Game. <laughs> Along with Steven George, who I forced to play it. No, 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 Oh my gosh. Eventually, these sounds are just going to be entirely Arthur quotes, and I'd, I'd honestly be okay with that. <laughs> it is my favorite TV show. Actually, is there any point in collecting these? Yes, there is, because I have a, I have Deku sticks. 
I'm so used to doing this part of the dungeon as adult Link that I'm like, wait, but I don't have fire arrows. JM! Thanks for the follow! How you doing? <laughs> nice to see you around a stream. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's going great. We're doing a uh, Ocarina of Time randomizer. Uh, things have gone pear-shaped pretty quickly because I neglected to realize that uh, one of the settings I put on for Triforce Hunt strips away my ability to get more HP and, like, any upgrades of any kind. <laughs> So this is unintentionally a free heart run. But other than that, we're having a grand old time today. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Uh-oh. Oh, where are all those torches? I took them all the way around it. No, light the torch. Light the torch. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we made it in time. Ooh. Got a question? Go for it. I hate Beemos. Okay, let's... Bro, there are, there's more to life than just firing laser beams at me. He's gonna be a pain in the butt. Let's get rid of him. Am I using an emulator for this? Yes. In order to run... Actually, no. To run to run Randomizer, you actually don't need an emulator. You can do Homebrew, but I'm not smart enough to do that. So I'm using BizHawk. Yeah, so BizHawk is a great emulator if you have a good enough computer to run it. I do, and I'm using a laptop, so you don't even need, like, a a great computer, but I know some people do have trouble running BizHawk, so you can also use, like, Project 64 as well. Hey, no worries, Jam. I think a lot of the time is, I don't stream nearly as often as you do, and <laughs> our stream times often will overlap a little bit. I think this guy will one-hit kill me. I'm pretty sure this guy, if he lands a hit on me, will one-hit kill me. So I gotta be careful. Thankfully, jump attack backflip... ...does not always work. Okay. Was not expecting that to happen. Oh man, now we gotta walk all the way back up there. And I don't even have the shortcut open. Because, uh, you can only open that as an adult. Alright, well, I think there's gonna be something good in that goddess's, um, right hand. We, we gotta beat him. We gotta teach him! We gotta make him pay! He needs to learn you not do not mess with colorful arty. I love how they... <laughs> Does the name of this Mario 64 hack you're talking about Nintendo Addict involve swear words? Because <laughs> Twitch had censored it out with asterisks. Or maybe... Or did you try to post a link? Which, by the way, is very fitting for Ocarina of Time. <laughs> yeah, uh, N64 emulators aren't actually that difficult to set up, especially if you get a simple one like uh, Project 64. Which, that works for most games. Maybe you'll run into some emulation issues. I know Nintendo Addict uses that, and uh, he can't always see where the grotto entrances are for when we do co-op seeds, but other than that, it works pretty well, and it's simple, and it can run on almost any machine. So that's a good starting place, but I do I do strongly recommend BizHawk if you have a good enough machine to run it. And there are a bunch of tutorials online that you can use to help set it up, because that, that one is a bit more complicated to set up, because it's not just an N64 emulator, it can emulate almost anything. But if, and also if you want to do Ocarina of Time Multi-World, you need BizHawk, that's the only one it works on. Okay. Alright, I just, I can't get greedy, that's it, alright. Oh wait, whoops. <laughs> you can't Power Crouch Stab if you have the Hylian Shield equipped.
Ouch! Man, I forgot. These guys are actually kind of tricky to... Hmm. Okay, new plan. Yeah, I forgot. I, <laughs> I forgot free... When you're doing a free heart run, intentionally or unintentionally, the iron knuckles are actually really dangerous. <laughs> Normally, when I did do my free heart runs, I just Get use... <laughs> Normally, when I do my free heart runs, I just use... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> said Ninny's Grace. Uh, I generally just use Neighbor's Love, so that way, even if they do hit me, I don't die. No such luck today. This is also so up where, uh... <laughs> Weird Sonic Yell. You're gonna have to be more specific. Are you... <laughs> like, the, the yell he makes in Sonic Adventure DX when the avalanche starts? Like, the... <laughs> That one? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Marty, <laughs> I know what sound I need to add, and I'll give you a hint. It involves a weird school teacher. <laughs> you know the one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> It's literally going to be like, okay, before I can stream next, I need to add so many more alerts. <laughs> I'll just be gradually adding alerts. Over the next couple days, I'll be, oh, I need to add that sound effect. Oh, I need to add that sound effect. <laughs> okay. Little bit change. I'm sorry. We're going to use Deku Shield, Power Crouch, Dabbing. All right. Yeah, this is better. What the? But I wasn't in front of him. <laughs> He's like, no, you don't. You are not doing that cheap strategy. <laughs> wow. Iron knuckle means business. <laughs> Dane. Wait a second, are there fire keys in this room? No, I already killed them. Okay. I'm like, if they so help me if they light my Deku shield on fire. If you hang out behind him for too long, he gets upset. I did not know that. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna have to just do jump attacks and just I <laughs> I gotta, Submit. gotta do better. <laughs> Okay, yeah, adding these sound effects <laughs> was a good idea. <laughs> I'm glad people are enjoying them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yummy bars! <laughs> if I. So many of these alerts, if I add them, people are gonna take a look at the title of them and be like, what the heck even is this? And probably redeem it just to see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy bars! <laughs> Alright. Uh, Twitch chat, I want your votes. How many more times will I die to Iron Knuckle? I am guessing I will die two more times. Also, I just realized something. Uh, I have Deku Sticks. Please keep doing this. Oh my god, okay. Yes, this is better. There we go! Yeah, Deku stick jump attack power crouch stabbing. Oh boy! <laughs> Well, we were all wrong, and Mobius just uh, redeemed that I have to talk in a weird voice for one minute. Okay, I gotta think of a voice then. <clears throat> I gotta think of a, a voice then. 
Hmm. <laughs> How wonderful we found a small key for the spirit temple here. <laughs> Unfortunately, this locks us out of the rest of the temple because we do not have the silver gauntlets, so harumph. However, we do have a magic bean here. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry, Marty redeemed it, not Mobius. I'm sorry. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I have to talk in the weird voice regardless. <laughs> Alright, so plans for today, we're gonna go back, become an adult, go back to the desert, and uh, see if what's hiding up there above the magic bean. Hip hip cheerio, eh? I hope there's something good up there. I probably could have taken a look, if I just... If I had been smart, I could have taken a look from there, but uh, alas, no. <laughs> The hoity-toity British gentleman <laughs> pirate. <laughs> that is not exactly what I was going for, but yes. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I could have just done my pirate voice. But anyway, I don't think it was weird enough. It says you must talk in a weird voice for a minute, and pirate voices may be a bit abnormal. But <laughs> I don't know if it qualifies as weird, though, laddies. Yes. <laughs> J.M. is well acquainted with my pirate voice. There was a time that he and I played Among Us together for a good while, and um, we had some pirate roleplay going on. <laughs> it was a very enjoyable time. Honestly, I'd be, I, would be, I would quite enjoy doing Pirate Among Us again, but alas, we have a very hard time getting people to join. <laughs> Alright, what is up here? I do declare it is... A bird and five dollars! Boulder Dash! Spoils of War! Great, I am actually unsure where we can go from here. <laughs> I do great pirate while playing Sea of Thieves. I've heard about that game. Is that basically like a Grand Theft Auto, but you're pirates in like <laughs> pirate times? <laughs> I genuinely don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but the pirate voice do be very good. <laughs> Doggone. Okay, so where can I actually go at this point, though? I feel like... Oh, duh. I have the letter in the bottle. We're going to Jabu Jabu's belly. This is a very... This is a very linear seed that we've been taking. We've only been really been able to go to really one place in a given time. It's not like, all right, now we can go to these five places. It's like, well, we only have this one new item, so guess what? Wow. Yeah, we might not... It's 9.30. I've been streaming for three hours. We might not be able to finish this stream in one... Uh, this seed in one stream, because we only have ten Triforce pieces out of twenty, and we're missing so many key items. <laughs> Your Wally voice? Please tell me what the Wally voice is. I am not acquainted with it. <laughs> Which Wally? <laughs> Must be the blue rupee run. Yeah, we've we've gotten our fair share of blue rupees. Oh, dog on it. We're playing warp songs at night. Hmm, yeah. I think literally going to Jabba Jabba's belly is really all we can- Oh, I guess this also does technically open up Ice Cavern as well. I really don't want to go to Ice Cavern, because I only have one bottle, but... Wally from Dilbert, it's a fun nasally- Oh yeah, I forgot that Dilbert got made into a TV show. <laughs> Cup of tea! That's not what she actually says. And if I if I ripped only the sound effect of her saying over here, then nobody will actually like think that it was ever supposed to be a cup of tea. It only sounds like that in the context of the chaos that is Mario Power Tennis. <laughs> good idea though. Oh, I, I bet a lot of the Mario Golf to Toadstool Tour taunts would also be good. <laughs> Mario sneezing. You know people would just abuse the Mario sneezing sound effect, though. Achoo! Achoo! Excuse me! <laughs> yeah, Dilbert, Dilbert had a TV show. I never watched it, so I have no idea what any of the characters' voices are. I'm, I'm only familiar with it as a uh, comic. 
I'm an engineer in real life, and uh, <laughs> having Dilbert comments in your cubicle is the norm at the place where I work. Oh boy, Mario has... <laughs> Mario. Marty has another idea. A horrible, awful idea. <laughs> This is glad. I'm glad I have all these different think tanks thinking of great sound effects that I can add in. <laughs> and yes, Jam, I was inspired to add the all of these new sound effects by Shaggy's streams. With his chicken strips! <laughs> it was too good. It makes it makes it, chat interaction far more enjoyable. And I feel like it encourages more chat interaction. <laughs> Chicken strips! I don't even know what that comes from, but it's it's a fantastic sound effect. <laughs> Toadette saying mushroom from Mario Party 7. <laughs> mushroom! Um, we'll see. That's not exactly high on my priority list, but I, I'm not going to discount it as a possibility. I feel like Waluigi's You're Lousy would be a lot better. <laughs> oh my gosh, I never get tired of the witchcraft. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just have to be careful about copyright infringement, because I know Twitch is a little more strict on that than YouTube is. Because YouTube, it's like, oh, you, you used some copyrighted content, that's fine, you just, you can't make money on this video, and I'm like, that's fine, I don't make money on any of my videos anyways, I don't want to. But on Twitch, it's like, oh, did you, did you say, did you use this, like, half a second clip from a Disney movie? Oh, wait, <laughs> you're getting striked. <laughs> yes, that is Frollo saying witchcraft. <laughs> boing, a boing, a boing. <laughs> I feel like I also need more Kingdom Hearts quotes. Kingdom Hearts has so many good quotes. But Submit was obviously the number one one. I c oh my gosh, I could I could put in a Big the Cat quote of some time. <laughs> Froggy, I caught a fish. Something's biting. <laughs> I feel like a lot of these sound effects though would only be would only work in very specific situations. <laughs> Could I use the California Raisins Waffle House? Uh, do you mean Raisin Toast at the Waffle House? <laughs> but then I'd be ripping off Stephen George, because he has that as his 1500-bit alert. Uh, Jabu Jabu, well, I'm going to go to the Fairy Fountain first. I could potentially put that in. Or I, or I could literally just add that to my Twitch playlist, and if I f stream more randomizers in the future and just take out background music, I'll play my Twitch playlist in the background. And it just, it's like, okay, we're hearing Mario music. Okay, we're hearing Zelda music then. Raisins! Raisin Toast! <laughs> that would be kind of funny. <laughs> this stream is... Uh, Artie struggles heavily with a randomizer seed, and also people suggest funny sound effects to put in. I, I like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could literally put in any quote from the Star Wars prequels, and it would be a good... It would be a good sound effect. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Sebulba! Oh my god. Will the great... Could the great fairy stop giving me bombs? That's like the third great fairy that has given me bombs. Then, like, two others have given me five dollars, and then one of them has frozen me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are giving me so many good ideas for sound effects. I love it. <laughs> Alright. Unless we can find ten Triforce pieces in the next hour, we're probably going to have to split this into multiple streams. Which, I mean, that's, hey, that's not a problem. More content for you guys, but... I, I like completing these randomizer seeds in one go, because otherwise I have the tendency to be like, have I checked this place yet? I can't remember. Alright, at least Jabu Jabu's Deli is a pretty pretty easy dungeon to get through. Pretty fast. Great fairies might blow up Hyrule. No, they're, they're just hiring me to be their terrorist. Hey, girl.
I'll carry you through the dungeon. I will, I will not use you as a weapon for enemies. Super promise. Super duper promise. Oh, another thing I could do is put in, like, Sun one of Sunohara's screams. That could be a good one. That would also be one, another one that would definitely catch me off guard when people redeem it. <laughs> Alright. Mana rays, leave me alone! Bubbles, just hang up there. Hey, hey, Rudo. I don't know why. As a kid, I always called her Princess Rutu, even though it's definitely Rudo. Yoink! I told you I wouldn't use you as a weapon. I didn't say I wouldn't use you as a switch hitter. <laughs> Cypher or the Emperor's Scream from Opera Omnia. I do not know what that is. But I, I can look it up. Alright, 10 rupees. Give me something good. <laughs> I feel like the NPCs in this game are trying to tell me something. Oh my gosh, another thing I can do. I, I haven't made Darunia dance yet! Which means I also have the Goron vase open. Yeah, stay out. Stay out! You having a good time there, Rudo? Just hanging out on my back. Alright, well... <laughs> I love how Rudo's primary use in this dungeon is literal dead weight. Honestly... <laughs> Honestly, every... Every Zelda dungeon where you've had to escort, like, somebody in the dungeon, none of them have been particularly great. The closest that it's come to actually be fun is Earth Temple from Wind Waker. Medley actually is kind of good because she has her own mirror shield. But other than that, it's like, Rudo's not good, Maycar is awful. I think there... wasn't there one in Twilight Princess as well, where you had to do that? Oh yeah, it's called the Temple of Time with the uh, Dominion Rod statue. I never played Super Punch-Out. The only way, the only reason I've actually played regular Punch-Out is because... Oh my gosh, we finally got another piece of the Triforce. The only reason I actually played regular Punch-Out is because it was a NES game in Animal Crossing GameCube. And we... I'm not going to say we hacked the game. We just did a crazy amount of uh, witchcraft in order to actually uh, access it. Because normally it's supposed to be inaccessible in the game. Oh, okay, that's true, Proxima. Blind in Link to the Past. That was actually a really cool escort mission, because it, it turns the whole thing on its head. And you only had to do that for a part of the dungeon. But that you're right, that was really cool. Oh, boy, goodness me, a stick. How helpful. <laughs> Iago's mad yell after... <laughs> you, you mean Ingo? <laughs> Iago is the parrot from Aladdin, and also the villain from... Othello. The Shakespeare play. <laughs> yes, the Ingo scream could also be a very good one. <laughs> Kia! Oh, darn it. Deku nuts are good, and I will fight people on this. You just have to know how to use them. Oh, oh, are you thinking of the scream when you beat him, which is like the K ha or like the Hua! Oh, oh, you're thinking Hua! <laughs> oh my gosh, we got a scale. Now we can take a lot of those shortcuts that are kind of useless because we don't really need them anymore. Yay!
Eh, silver scale is good. Take that, you stupid ton, or whatever you're supposed to be. <laughs> Ingo, yeah. Ingo, not Iago. <laughs> Iago would be a little more annoying! <laughs> Alright. We're actually almost done with uh, Jabu Jabu. We have one more ton to destroy. Big Octo, who used to be the bane of my existence, but now is actually extremely easy, now that I know how to do him. And then Barnate. Oh, actually, Barnate is going to be kind of tough with only three hearts. Thankfully, there are po heart pots in the room where you fight him. But yeah, Barnate is actually very difficult to do no damage, and he can actually kind of hurt you a lot if you're not careful. Like, I would venture to say he's either... The hardest or the second hardest boss to beat in the game without taking damage. I'd s Bongo Bongo might be a little trickier to do no damage, but... Or, honestly, Morpha is really annoying to do as well. Perhaps I'm in the minority there. Hi, Jellyfish. Alright, let's get us some Sculptulas. This is going to bring up, up us up to 30. Which means another Sculpture reward, which will probably be another five dollars, cause wow, the people of the House of Sculpture really don't have that much money in this, <laughs> in this particular seed. I know they're like, they have literally unlimited money in the vanilla game. Got to head to work. Thanks for hanging out, Nintendo Addict. It was a ton of fun. Hope you have a good day, uh, shift at your work. All right. So the key to beating Big Octo. So first, you throw her up here. She picks up the Zora Sapphire, even though that's... I don't think that's actually what it is. Or no, no, it actually is. It is vanilla Zora Sapphire. Boring. Alright. So we're gonna go forward. Big Octo's gonna come out and have some fun. Now, normally he's super annoying. Because normally you have to constantly hit him with the boomerang and hope that you hit him at the right time so that he's facing away from you so you can hit his butt. But why do that when you can one-cycle this guy in a matter of seconds? Step one, Z-target him. Step two, sit still and let him hit you. Step three, he turns around, and then you hit him with the boomerang. Step four, jump attack him with a single Deku stick. <laughs> Profit. <laughs> <laughs> These randomizers are hilarious. I'm glad you think so, Marty. <laughs> I, I very much enjoy doing these. They also tend to get decently sized crowds as well. I mean, obviously, the streams that get the biggest crowds are Backyard Baseball streams, which, I mean, little wonder for that. It's a pretty niche game. <laughs> and it always leads to hilarious moments, but I really love streaming randomizers. Especially 3D Zelda randomizers. Alright. I really hate that Octorok. He pretty much always... G oh my gosh, he didn't get a hit on me. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Alright, you know what else can do exactly what Princess Rudo can do? A literal crate. <laughs> Rudo's only purpose is holding down switches for you, which a literal inanimate crate can do as well. Alright, I really don't want to take damage in this room if I can help it. But those jellyfish are known to snipe you. Oh my gosh, it keeps getting louder, and I don't like it. Also, for some reason, your boomerang can just whiff that sometimes. You do not want to land on that Gold Sculptula, because Gold Sculptulas, for some reason, deal a whole heart's worth of damage. Like, they won't, they won't actively attack you, but if you touch them, it's gonna hurt. Just like Donkey Kong's coconut gun. <laughs> Alright. Time for Barnade. 
This might be problematic. All right, we're going to get out our trusty Deku Nuts. And in the meantime, we're just going to use the Boomerang on him a bunch of times. Cut his tentacles from the ceiling. Hit him. Now we can use Deku Nuts to get rid of the Jellyfish. We're going to periodically hit him with the Boomerang to keep him stunned. Alright, this is where things get deadly. Because first we have to hit him for all these jellyfish, which is difficult to do. And he also will try to hit us. Thankfully, we can do this. Alrighty, cool. Jump attack him with a Deku Stick. We're going to intentionally let him attack us here, because it'll speed up the fight a bit. Because then he'll immediately go up out of the ground. Ouch! Why is his body like a cactus? Power Crouch Stab, which has the power of a Jump Attack Deku Stick, which is a lot. And now, FINISH HIM! Oh, that would be another good sound effect to add. FINISH HIM! And there we go! Okay, I really need something good. That is not something good. That is five dollars. <sighs> wow, this game is so stingy. Go well, up. Guess I'm going to Ice Cavern. I really don't want to go to Ice Cavern, but <sighs> leaves me no choice. I think that's basically the only place I can go. Oh, there's also that one grotto in Hyrule Field that you need iron boots or gold scale to get. I haven't been there yet. Do you know what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. It's very true. <laughs> winning is pretty great. I can't help it if I win all the time. I'm just a winner. <laughs> uh, don't worry. There's there's always stream delay, Marty. There's always going to be a bit of delay. I don't know how, how much time elapsed between the time you redeemed that and the time it actually played, though. Admittedly. If it's really bad lag, you can refresh. And that'll... that'll uh, minimize it. Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm making the executive decision. I am cutting off the stream at 10.30. Which is a little over a half hour from now. If I ha <laughs> This means I'm effectively guaranteed to have to break this up into multiple streams, but I do have to work tomorrow. And I do... I also probably need to shower, because it's hot and sticky out. I'm, I'm very glad I started this at 6.30 as opposed to at 8. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, one, one area I've neglected is, yeah. You can hammer this area right here. Doggone it, I didn't do make Darunia dance. <laughs> I didn't even hit the ground, I hit the tree, but it counts. <laughs> Arnie needs to shower because Doll used to. Oh. My. Gosh. It's the Silver Gauntlets. Change of plans! <laughs> We're not going to the park today, Buster. <laughs> We're going back to Spirit Temple. Alright. I was going to say, I'm actually not going to Ice Cavern. I'm going to go to Goron City as a child and make Darunia dance, but nope. <laughs> Change of plans! Desert Colossus. Ooh, and this also means... Make sure you remember this if you're playing Scrub Sand. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I lifted my hands under the rock. A tech tight hit a tech tight hit me. Or I'm sorry, a lever hit me. And I immediately cr it immediately crumbled before my eyes. Stop selling me explosives! <laughs> Make beetles. Oh sound. 
Yeah, man, so many good ideas. I'm really glad that in the stream VOD I have uh, preserved Twitch chat so I can go back and remind myself of all of these uh, great ideas. How many of these are my feasibly even going to be able to implement before tomorrow's uh, Paper Mario stream? <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully I can get at least a few of them. Boom. Oh, that's... dog on it. I forgot. Nope. There is a switch on the ceiling in here. And I should have bought bomb shoes. Because I don't have a ranged option, and a bomb cannot actually reach that high. That's okay, though, because we have two small keys, so we can actually bypass this area for now. Dog on it. I forgot, there actually are a couple of situations in the game where bomb shoes if, can be very, very useful if you don't have any other options. I just assumed that by the time I had gone to Spirit Temple, I would have the bow or the hook shot. Because either of those also work. Oh yeah, Invisible Four Master, I forgot about you. Oh my gosh, my spin attack is garbage because I don't have any magic power at all. Where did he go? Honestly, with how much I quote it, I should probably just make Cotton Eye Joe a sound alert. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Oh, wow! Vanilla Ice Trap! That's boring! Oh, wow! 200 rupees! That is not boring! Oh my gosh, and I have Zelda's Lullaby, so I can actually do most of the stuff in this dungeon. Fratuous day! Alright, Zelda's Lullaby. Now, <laughs> what always frustrated me as a kid is that playing the Salnon here makes not one chest, but two chests appear. But you only see the animation of one of the chests falling. I actually think I am going to make the shortcut, because someone tells me I'm going to die to that other iron knuckle. And I'm going to want a shortcut back. There's nothing actually good this way, but it does make a quick way back to the main room. <laughs> but it's only slightly quicker than going the regular way. Oh my gosh, Marty. I also definitely need to add at least one Fantastic Mr. Fox quote in here. The question is, what should it be? And don't say the Whack Bat. It's not going to be the Whack Bat. Oh, doggone it! It just, without the hook shot, I can't even get back up there. Maybe I can hover boots from the top? Probably not, but I can at least get the chest that's over here. Oh, I also need to go claim my next skull chill reward. <laughs> okay, both of those are pretty good ideas. <laughs> Either, I guess he's just different, or they took everything. <laughs> we took everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it'll probably be, we took everything. They took everything. <laughs> I feel like that would work in more situations. Or the classic, if what I think is happening is happening, it better not be. <laughs> Honestly, basically any quote from that whole movie would be great, because it's such a quotable movie. Wow, good hitbox on that spike trap. <laughs> I literally rolled right through it. Oh no, my perfect free hearts. What do I do? How is it that I am close to four hours into the stream? No bow. No slingshot. No hook shot. No magic meter. <laughs> this 
this is this is ridiculous. I have basically everything else. Oh my gosh, stop giving me money! I don't even care that it... I would... <laughs> The sound of her when she finds the geese in the larder. <laughs> it doesn't work! It only works in the context of the movie. <laughs> Alright, this room. I can never remember exactly where you need to go in order to burn all of the Anubises. I think you do need hover boots for some of them, though. Or you need to do generic jump. Because the Anubises here move based on where you move. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And then in the corner back. Dog on it. You win this time, Anubis, but sleep with one eye open. There we go. I am also now out of small keys. That is a problem. Also, I just want to say, it's a good thing that I know how to cheese this puzzle up here, because I don't have the bow which you're supposed to need in order to do the puzzle. What's in here? What's in the box? Oh, okay, a small key. That's fine. I can at least beat the Spirit Temple tonight, yeah. So you're supposed to wait over by that gate and shoot one of these Armo statues to force them to jump on the switch. Here, I'm just gonna touch him, run to the door, and um, hope he gets stuck on the switch, which he always does, and then we can go up here, bada beam, bada boom. All right. Two invisible chests. First one has a Goron tunic, which I already bought. Okay. And the other one has, I was hoping for a Zora tunic, honestly, that would have been so perfect. <laughs> Okay. Well, this will this will hopefully go a little bit easier than the Yunling fight because I am like triple. I have triple the power. There we go. Yeah, way easier. Actually, I just realized. Wait, can I even reach the boss room without the hook shot? Because you're normally supposed to hookshot the cage, but maybe you can hover boots over there? Man, I need hover boots for everything. Doggone it. You, you would not believe how little you can, what little you can do without the hookshot. It's ridiculous. You can't even enter, like, half the dungeons in the game without the hookshot. Alright, well... I think this is the last small key for the dungeon, so I actually think we're good to go as far as... Oh, no. With no hookshot or long shot, I have to do this the intended way, and I hate this room. Submit! I swear that submit sound effect <laughs> jump scares me every time. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I can't even get rid of this stupid Skullwalchula. Okay, well... We literally will just have to hope that the heavens align. If if this Skull Walchula decides to be a butt, then we're in trouble. Okay, he's, he did not decide to be a butt. That's good. Those wall panels are kind of glitchy, and it is very easy when climbing on one wall panel to another for him to just be like, Dah! and then fall down. Thankfully, that did not happen. All right. <sighs> One plus side to this seed, as I have rarely had to actually change my items on the status subscreen. Because I can hold all of my items here, basically. Oh wait, I can't actually open this chest, because I need both the bow and the hookshot. What? 
Just die. Please and thank you. God bless. Come on. Food for me? I got the giant's knife, which is worse than the sword that I already have. I forgot the giant's knife gets randomized. I also need to check what that turned into. I also could do some of that happy mask salesman side quest. That is something I could do, because that would be that would lead to um two actual I can only one reward. But you never know. The skull mask in the fourth stage might lead to something. Okay, so the question here is, I'm not sure if you can actually use the hover boots to reach the boss room. I have never tried it before, but just judging by the looks of things, I don't think you actually can. Which is real bad. Yeah, there's there's no way. It's too high. It's, it's too high up. What the heck? Oh, <gasps> wow! Okay, we're, we're not even going to comment on that, what just happened there. <laughs> Yep, that's... Technically, that's not it for Spirit Temple. Technically, if we physically buy Bomb Chews, then we can go back and hit that switch on the ceiling, but... I don't wanna. I probably should, though. I'm probably gonna forget about it next time I stream this, and I, I won't be able to actually stream this until Friday. That is without postponing the Paper Mario stream tomorrow, but no, I wanna, I wanna keep a consistent uh, stream schedule for Paper Mario. Alright. Young Link, you're gonna go and make Darunia dance. <laughs> Welcome back, Mobius. You you had to update Discord twice this evening? Wow. That's not very nice. So in case you couldn't tell based on my item tracker, Mobius, uh, we haven't made very much progress. We found, I think, one Triforce piece in your absence. Talk on it! I forgot to get the song from the windmill guy! Ugh. It's okay. One more place to check. Alright. Who wants to bet? It'll be five rupees. Deku nut. Arguably even worse. You found the weirdest pillow on Amazon. It's free check marks each just like <laughs> That is one of the funniest pillows I've heard of. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. <laughs> Oh, f thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Marty. That's not the weirdest pillow, because, um, there's some, uh, I'm gonna say questionable body pillows out there. No, that pillow actually sounds pretty hilarious. I wouldn't get it myself, but it's also not, it's also one that I wouldn't be, like, ashamed to have in my house. <laughs> I also just... <laughs> You're looking for a gift for your boyfriend, it won't be that one. I also would like to request that you not get me that for my birthday. It's a hilarious gift, but... Probably one I would not use. <laughs> That is, that is, that is really funny, though. <laughs> I am single, taken Ferdinand von Eyer. <laughs> Legitimate son of the Eyer family. <laughs> did, you, did you have to say that? <laughs> Generally, if you say you're, you're the heir to the Eyer family, like, they, they're gonna assume you're legitimate. 
<laughs> oh, if that song had one less right note in it, I would have adored it, but nope. Alright, good night, Mobius. I will be, uh, ending the stream in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Ugh, Darunia! Okay, give me something good. Doggone it, Darunia! <laughs> okay, it's not- it might not be a total waste, though. Because, now that we have access to Darunia's room- now that we have access to Darunia's room, we can give ourselves a concussion and also light these torches out here. Start the vase rolling, figure out what's inside the vase. If it's $5, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Honestly, Marty, Culver's gift cards, I'd be happy with that. <laughs> I love Culver's. <laughs> Honestly, I would not be upset with just money as my gifts. Uh, like, to be perfectly honest. Because there are so many things that I'm like, I don't really... <laughs> I hate to I hate to be, like, false modesty, but, like, I truly... There's not a whole lot I want right now. Or rather, what I want is maybe out of some people's gift price range, which I don't blame them for. <gasps> oh. My. Bark! It's the flippin' magic meter. Okay! Cha-ching! Alright, first we're gonna light the torches in the royal family tomb. Before I forget... Wow, I can't believe it took that long. Literally, the only thing that that lets us do now is use Din's fire, but that's, <laughs> that's all it takes! <laughs> Much like 220s. <laughs> what a jump. <laughs> yeah, this is an easy one to forget. I do not want to forget to light these torches. <laughs> Prepare yourself. <laughs> How ominous. Oh boy! <laughs> Talk in a weird voice for one minute. Okay. Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> Har, I'm gonna be doing me pirate voice then. Har, har, har. This be a voice that I actually really enjoy doing, and it, it, it seems to be a big hit with all the ladies. And by ladies, I mean the people who I played among us with that one time. Har, they really be enjoying the pirate voice whenever I do it. Ye land lovers. All right, let me think. Now that we have Din's fire, what else can we open? It opens up the Shadow Temple. But what else? Actually, this not be opening much else, if in me, if in you ask me. We'll be returning to be old Link for now. Oh wait, no, this also opens up the Lens of Truth, so I can do that glorious treasure chest mini game. Arr. It's time to find the booty, ladies and gentlemen. We be playing the gambling game, treasure shop. For some reason, if you have glasses, they don't let you in, because apparently all glasses are like the lens of truth. <laughs> but as long as we sneak it in our pocketses, they won't notice the difference. Har har. Oh dearie me, is that is that a Scottish Terrier that will be following me in? Nah, I lost him. Hi, I love to gamble. I be a pirate and I want to <laughs> go in. <laughs> I know how to use keys. Technically speaking, you can beat this without the magic meter and the lens of truth, but yet it's literally a 1 in 32 chance, and I don't want to do that. You can also use save states, but save states don't work on my emulator. I want to know why these chests are the only chests in the whole game that you can see through if you use the lens of truth. I'm not complaining about it, it definitely helps trivialize this game, but it would be interesting if you could see in any chest. Like to see if there's an ice trap waiting inside it, or if a randomizer seeing what's in the chest before you open it. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. So help me if I get five rupees as a reward for this. Wow, it's vanilla. It's actually, it's worse than vanilla. Vanilla gave you a piece of heart. <laughs> a piece of me heart. That just gave me money. Arr! You bilge rats! I want more than money, I want a hook shot. Or a bow, or heck, I'd even take a slingshot at this point. Oh wait, speaking of slingshots! 
I'm gonna just take another dip in the Deku tree to see if those two slingshot chests have anything, or if this just be naught but a fool's errand. Alright, that's one minute of pirate voice. I actually think people are getting more than their money's worth for these. <laughs> I'm glad the channel points rewards are such big hits of everybody. I think it makes these streams a bit more fun. That's right, because at the very beginning I went into, into the Deku Tree, but I didn't have a shield. And so there was one room I couldn't enter, and it has two treasure chests in it. If, oh my gosh, if the hook shot or the bow, or the sling shot are in one of these chests... Oh, man, I'm gonna be... A, <laughs> I'm not gonna be upset, I'm gonna be happy to find them, but... Man, I would have been able to get these, like, from the very beginning of the game. Because for some reason, only the Deku Shield works on this particular variety of Deku, uh, Deku Scrub. Okay. Two, tre two chests in here. I bet one of them is going to have five rupees. And maybe the other one has something good? Dog on it. I mean, at this point in the game, money really doesn't matter, so that's, that's honestly alright. Okay. I suppose at this point now, I could try to backtrack through the desert wasteland to light the torches in the shrine, but no. That's one check it's going to take ages to do. And it's, it's just not worth it. I guess technically it's two checks, because I could also double the bomb shoe salesman in there. Alright, got 15 more minutes and then we got to end the stream. So where do I need to go? Okay. Very f before I forget, we're getting that psalm from the Windmill Man. Also, I love how the silver gauntlets are this great shade of blue. Looks very nice. Also, I could go to the Shadow Temple. Actually, now that I think about it, most of the Shadow Temple can be beaten without the hook shot. Actually, can all of it be beaten without the hook shot? I'm actually not sure if the hook shot is technically needed for anything in that dungeon. I think hover boots can uh, get through all of it on its own. Hey dude, I have an ocarina. <laughs> I hate ocarinas! Money I can't use. Great. I could buy a Zora tunic. That actually might be necessary if I have to brave the water temple. What do you think? What do I think you should get uh, your boyfriend for his birthday? Good question. You said he's already full on hot sauce, right? <laughs> Alright, where to, where to go next? Uh, I can't do anything else in the fire temple. I'm bow locked there. I can't do anything else in the spirit temple. Oh, that's right. I have to go to Zora's River. Get him a pebble. <laughs> that is something small. That's true. Um... Maybe get him, like, a gift card to, like, a restaurant you guys could go to together? Because now that everything's opening back up. I know it's technically not a very personable gift, but... I mean, if you're getting him Breath of the Wild, that's a pretty big thing. You don't, you don't really need much else. Also, in case you didn't know, Artie is not exactly the best at giving gifts. I generally stick to people's lists. Which isn't always a bad thing, but 
It can be difficult for me to get, like, fun surprises. I'm always afraid of being like, oh, I, I'm going to get them something that they're not going to like. <laughs> Better yet, give him the greatest gift of all. He gets to choose the next emote that I make for my Twitch channel. I can't think of any greater gift than that. <laughs> I jest. I can't even make another emote until I get some more subscribers. Actually, I would have to check to see how many more subscriptions I would need for an emote. A lot of streamers are just like, oh, I know exactly how many I need. I don't. I just play it by ear. Okay. So romantic. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I did say that I jest. <laughs> Get him a steak. <laughs> I know guys. Guys love food. <laughs> or, like, bake him a really good dessert or something. Home, Like, home-cooked dessert. Something really, like... Cool. I promise you he would like that. It's a gift from the heart. Or get him the best, the true best gift. Beauty and the Beast, Bell's Magical World on VHS. Because that's probably the only thing it was released for. <laughs> okay, Blue Rupee, don't care about that. Oh my gosh, Marty, I am 100% getting something from Bell's Magical World as a sound. <laughs> Probably, I will never apologize! <laughs> oh my gosh, another Blue Rupee? No, I'm not even getting that. Oh no, I'm gonna drown! If I drown, is that just game over, or do I just start losing HP? Oh no! I'm gonna freaking drown. That's just game over. Okay, I am 100% putting on. I will never apologize. <laughs> it will rarely work, but if it when it works, it will be glorious. Okay, so I literally just drowned for five rupees that I didn't even pick up. Yay! All right, ice cavern. Okay, I've decided. We're going into ice cavern. We're beating ice cavern. And then we're going to end the stream. Unless Ice Cavern is brutally difficult. I think we can finish it. Even with only one bottle, I'm pretty confident we can finish it. I really wish you could use Dense Fire on these red ice. Yeah, I'm not putting anything with swear words in it. <laughs> so that invalidates like half of the lines from Shadow the Hedgehog right there. Where's that bleep fourth chaos emerald? <laughs> Honestly, if I did something from Shadow the Hedgehog, it would probably be something really weird like, FIND THE COMPUTER ROOM! I'm not even going to be able to get like half of the... Sculptula is here because I don't have the flip and hook shot. Hook, you need the hook shot for everything. Also, I think I've pointed this out before on a randomizer, but I swear the map of this room in particular looks like a pig's stomach. And now that I've said that, you'll never be able to unsee it. Ah! <laughs> By the way, I don't even know what a pig stomach looks like exactly, but I feel like if... I feel like a pig stomach would look exactly like that. Okay. I'm already preparing. Oh, damn it! Ice keys are the worst. Stupid ice keys. Wow. 
I knew he was coming. I knew this day would come. Okay, yeah. One bottle is not going to make it difficult, it's just going to make it really annoying. But it's okay, I, know, I think I can do, I think I know how to do this officially! Oh my gosh, I got him on the backswing. And then I get hit by the easy enemy. Alright, map chest. What you gonna have? I really hope there's not something hidden behind 50 gold sculptulas. A stick. <laughs> yeah, one bottle ice cavern is not much fun. It just makes adds a little bit of backtracking. It's still a very short dungeon, though. Okay. This way leads to another blue fire container, so we can get more blue fire this way. The other way leads deeper into the dungeon towards the boss. So this is basically a sh nice shortcut. <laughs> a lot of these RFR quotes are great, but I'm not sure if I should make them twitch alert, uh, like sound effects, because I feel like a lot of them just won't work in a lot of places. Oh, that... I was like, oh man, I'll get out my hook shot. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the mother flippin' slingshot. If this is an ice trap, I'm gonna cry. Okay, thank goodness, it's not. Uh, okay. I, like, I would have legit cried if that was an ice trap. <laughs> And already doesn't cry for her very much. I cried for Clanad, and that is, that's it. <laughs> oh, also, I never actually updated that I got the uh, Keaton mask. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Real men cl cry at Clonod. I only cried at two places, though. And I didn't cry at one of the places that I feel like almost everyone cries at. Although, admittedly, I did cry at a place that few people cry at, so... That... that that makes up for it. All right. Let's take out the keys first. Oh, Christmas keys. Oh, Christmas keys. I'm gonna hack you into pieces. All right. Let's see if I can remember the pattern for this. Uh... That's because nah, geese isn't my favorite. I mean, true, she wasn't. I liked her, though. I mean, obviously, best girl is Tomoyo. And I know you don't like her, Marty, but I liked Kotomi. <laughs> so you can just suck it. <laughs> And that's okay. I liked Kotomi and you didn't. You liked Yukine and I didn't, really. Then again, from what I, from what you've told me, uh, Yukine is, like, significantly... That hurts. As I was saying, Yukine is significantly cooler in the anime, from what I've heard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tomoyo was great because she was she was a nice take on the traditional like tough girl, where you think she's just gonna be oh yeah she's the tough girl who's like the the masculine girl who like don't need no man and it's like actually she's quite feminine in a couple a couple ways too and she also like 
is kind of self-conscious about that and wants to be more feminine, which I thought was a good take. I really enjoyed that. And also, she's cool. <laughs> and beats up Sunohara when he deserves it. But she also beats up Sunohara when he doesn't deserve it, so... Ah, uh, you can't have everything. <sighs> now, I have to go get more blue fire. This room is the reason why... Having only one bottle is really annoying. Because you have to keep getting more from this. Oh, I guess I guess we're going to end the stream after we fall King Zor and get his reward. Because that's actually a pretty important thing to do. And I will forget to do it if we don't do it this stream. But then I promise we are ending the stream. Oh, that's not exactly where I wanted the ice block to end up, but that's okay, because we've got the Hover Boots. <laughs> Thank you, Hover Boots. <laughs> Thanks, Serenity Suds. Alright. Can I get the perfect re uh, blue fire? Melt all three of these? Yeah! Alright. Can I get something good here? I mean, I already got the slingshot in here, so we can finish the Deku Tree now. Although I think finishing Deku Tree is the only thing that that really opens up, as well as the triple slingshot bullseye. Oh, and we haven't done Ocarina Memory Game either. Five bucks. Bombs. Lovely. I always forget that there's the exit over here, because I... When I play this game casually, I never take the exit out of there. I never do. I always just warp out or save and quit. Because there's not much reason to do it. Because at that point, you've already gotten everything in the ice cavern. Alright. We gotta get more blue fire before we leave, so we can fall King Zora, and then bada beam bada boom. <laughs> Rolled right into the ice scythe. Lovely. Actually, wait. That's the wrong way. That leads to where we just came from. This is what leads to the uh, entrance. Ouch. <laughs> My knee. <laughs> oh, wow. We actually... This stream was about exactly four hours. That's actually... <laughs> I really couldn't have timed that better. Well, um, so much for finishing the whole seed in one stream. Heck, I'm not even optimistic we can finish the whole seed in two streams. Because we only, we only have slightly more than half of the Triforce pieces, and we haven't even set, set foot into, like, half the dungeons in the game. Such as Gerudo Training Grounds. Kinzora, you better give me something good. Because I... You would not believe what I have had to go through to get to this point. Alright, what's he giving me? What's he giving me? He's giving me... Boring! Okay. We have gotten way too much money this stream. Wow. Uh... Pfft. <laughs> So, the moral of this story, don't set things too minimal unless you know exactly what you're getting into. Lovely. Alright, well, thanks for watching, everybody. We are going to try to raid somebody tonight, because we actually have a couple people in Twitch chat. So, I'm pretty sure... Oh, yep, yep, here we go. Okay, so, I know who we're going to raid. So, thank you all for joining in. This was a lot of fun. 
I really, this has been one of the most fun streams I've done. I loved all the interactions, and I love people taking advantage of the channel points rewards. The sound effects were great. Like, talking in the voices, I, I love talking to you guys in chat. That was a lot of fun.